Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all having a good day. Bro, that new Silent Hill game is a pile of fucking shit. What a piece of fucking garbage. <laughs> what level am I at? The chapter requires you to be level 13. I think I'm like level 12. But that's not a big deal. His short message, also blooper team. Uh, it's like internal and it's a piece of shit. Uh, I, me and Paige were like checking over the VOD and we were blown away that the game lasted exactly two hours. Like exactly two hours. Because it felt like five hours. You know, there's four good Silent Hill games. And only one of them deals with the main character's dark past slash trauma. And for some reason, every hack fuck shithead that has ever decided to follow up the series has just tried to make Silent Hill 2 again and done a really bad job. Silent Hill 1, 3, and 4 are about the cult. You see, man, it's like Jacob's Ladder, you know, like, like, you know, your, per your, your personal demons are attacking you. Well, yeah, that was the primary inspiration for, um, two and some of the visuals, but, uh, the game's actual primary inspiration is the fucking fog or the mist or whatever the, the mist by Stephen King and Rosemary's Baby. Is that why they skipped remaking one and went right to two? They skipped remaking one and went straight to two because two is the super, super, super famous one, super classic. Nier Fuster says, Silent Hill 1 deals with heavy topics with Alessa and Lisa, but it doesn't do the whole explore the protagonist's dark past and trauma. So the fun thing, Nier, is that it actually does. But only if you consider Alessa to be the game's protagonist. Which you can under certain interpretations of the game. What a pile of shit. I'm so mad about it. I'm mad about it like this. Like this. <sighs> when you get older, you're going to find out that um, getting mad where you're like, rah, 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 is one thing. But getting mad like, oh my god damn fucking, ugh. Is actually way worse. Read what I saw. Go fuck yourself. Dementor. Boo. Gene says, I've stopped talking shit about Silent Hill because Silent Hill fans are the most sensitive. I played every Silent Hill game to come out. Except for the... 
except for the um, the arc of the light gun shooter in the casino. And Ascension's not a game, Gene. It's a TV show. There are four good ones, three great ones. Like, I don't know if it's true anymore. But I read, but at least until, um, at least until Downpour, which is Silent Hill 8, um, Silent Hill has the astonishing distinction of being the only game I, series that I can think of in which every single new entry sold less than the last one. Silent Hill 1 is the all-time best-selling Silent Hill game of all time. And Silent Hill 2 is the second best. And 3 is the third best. And so on and so forth. Like, it's a, it's a fucking linear graph. It's crazy. It's, it's absolutely bananas. Man, Konami put out SH2 and Metal Gear Solid 2 on the PS2, and you were like, this shit is the future. Holy fuck. And uh, no, it wasn't. It, it was... Oh. Pull the lever! All right, um... You refuse to believe the post on the subreddit merch is real? Oh, you mean the one that has the bright rainbow t-shirt that goes, It's trauma! That one. Oh, man. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Uh, apologies if I'm a little run down today, guys. I am a sleepy boy. I am a sleepy man. Pardon. Isn't Silent Hill 4 about circumcision? Oh my god. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Justin Wang has an excellent video on the Silent Hill 4 circumcision theory and the drama therein. Does Silent Hill have the only great trilogy in gaming? Like, all three were great. No, there's tons of trilogies of games that are great. I look at Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 1, Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 4. Incredible. There's Metal Gear Solid. Dark Souls is pretty good. Gears of War was excellent. Persona 3, 4, and 5. So it's funny. Pers now with Metaphor Re Fantasio coming out, it genuinely looks like Persona 3, 4, and 5 are a trilogy. <sighs> Metroid Prime? I wouldn't say so. I didn't like 3. 3 is where I discovered that I hated the Wii Remote because it gave me crippling wrist pain.
like disabling wrist pain. Because they wanted you to hold the Wii Remote up like this. Yeah, Uncharted 1 is, is kind of bad. It's very primitive. Uncharted 2 is like, whoa. <sighs> hey, Morning Atfa kicked in a sub. Thanks, Morning. I appreciate it. Ad Merlin subbed. Buying a new game in Canada is expensive, but after Lost Judgment, playing ahead of you and then watching the streams is worth it. One of the things is that... Um, I I'm kind of glad that um I had trouble fitting in infinite wealth into my schedule this week uh because starting next week I'm going to be on like chapter 5 or something people playing at home are going to be way past that so uh, people that come in and going like Hey, I'm gonna ditch because of spoilers. We'll be outed as liars. Liar shitheads. <laughs> uh, also, as for expensive, bro, fucking, I bought the fancy version. Fucking Infinite Wealth cost me $164. Ridiculous. <sighs> Ridiculous. Can't you write that off? Shut up. That's different. By the way, join me tomorrow for a sponsored stream of Persona 3 Reload. As well as, I'll be putting up a video preview of Persona 3 Reload on the YouTube channel. And also showing it on Twitch. They really want you guys to know about Persona 3 Reload. Ad Merlin kicked in sub. Oh, I just read that. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck, I'm so out of it. John Claude Junkass sub. Thanks, John Claude. I appreciate it. How are the spoiler policies? Um, if you play far into the game, mark your stream as containing spoilers. That's it. That's the entire streaming policy. That's it. Yep. Captain Podoc kicked in. A sub. Hey, Pat. Happy 44 months. I have a Canada question for you. Has Toronto always had that accent? So, Toronto has multiple accents. Um, uh, you're, you're thinking of the one that's going around on social media right now. Um, about leaving your moms in the hood. Um, no, that one's relatively new to my knowledge. Um, the, the usual Toronto accent is somebody who just sounds like a stuck up asshole who thinks they're better than you. That's, that's the, that's the, the usual Toronto accent. Like me? No, not like me. My accent isn't getting that across. That's my words. Hey, boss man. Glad to see the stream up back up for today. I like to show videos of you and Paige to my mom because she finds you guys funny. She was, however, legitimately worried about how hard you were laughing in the trauma clip. Yeah, I saw a lot of people like that. About who were like, oh my god, is Pat going to explode and die? And it's like, I'm just really pale, guys. When I say my skin is see-through and translucent, I mean it. You are looking at my capillaries right now through my fucking skin. 
I am functionally a zero on Wooly's chart. Cade says, Pat, you are bright red and purple. And if you didn't have anything in your skin to get in the way of that color, you too would turn bright red or purple. That was a pretty good stream. Aren't you still getting more sun? You're still pale? No, you don't. You don't understand. There is no... There is no level of skin darkening that will occur with me short of UV damage. <laughs> There's no... Like, I'll freckle a little bit. Maybe. But that's it. There, I, there's, there's, there's like, there's like raw meat and then well cooked for me. There's nothing. Got nothing going on here. I once fell out. Uh, I, when I was a kid, I fell asleep for like an hour outside and I got a sunburn so back, bad on my back that I couldn't sleep on my uh, back for like two months. How long does it take me to get a sunburn? Like 40 minutes. <laughs> Took me literally like 20 years to stop sleeping on my stomach. <sighs> Evil John Cena said, thanks man. So, Hi Pat. Oh. Here. And Joe Bagato Nuts kicked in a sub. Years ago, I was Chinese. Oh, Shenmu. Ahead of the times. It probably makes sense in Shenmu, but... How bad was short message? Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I have not listened to the radio station. Honestly, I've barely played Infinite Wealth because I'm at the start. Uh, I'm at the point where I haven't unlocked um, Sujimon or Dodonko Island, where I'm going to put a lot of my off camera time. So, full speed ahead. Mel Brooks K.A. kicked in. Fu uh, so, uh, uh. <sighs> Mel Brooks K.A. kicked in a sub to say, fuck you, it's February. Thanks, man. You know, I'm going to go fucking take a piss. I'm going to piss it up. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, it's Big Pat. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, it's actually Small Pat, but it's bigger Small Pat. 
Oh, fuck. Well, it's, it's one of those. It's one of those today. Oh. Hey, well, you want to hear something funny? I got a warning on YouTube in my notifications that uh, one or more of my videos may have limited monetization. And I'm like, which video is that? And Oh, it's the one titled, Pat Beats His Wife at Silent Hill, The Short Message. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that... Mm, mm, no fixing that. Any plans on checking out Grand Blue Relink? Not really. The PC port's apparently very bad. I'm playing Yakuza's. I want to make Yakuza pro uh, pro progress so that I can do like Yakuza FF7, Yakuza FF7, and then Dragon's Dogma is there. You know what I'm saying? Just call it Beats. Oh my god, I just blinded myself with my headphone. Just call it Beats Off His Wife? I don't think... Mm. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, hold on. Yeah, no, I got it. I don't think that'll work. Look, I even have a blue controller for the, the ocean. Okay, I think we're doing it. I think we're in there. When will e will these emotes be banned? Oh, I don't think they're gonna be banned. I think what's gonna happen is somebody is gonna use will these emotes um, in an improper manner, and uh, and then. Uh, You know how it is. What? Did I? I don't remember this. Right. We have to. We have to go. We have to go here. We have to do it. We have to do it. Oh, I'm so out of it. By the way, I completely maxed out. Um. Completely maxed out, sicko. St uh, no, not sicko. St crazy delivery, and I compl and I met every lady on mismatch. I met a chicken, a gimp, an old lady in a bunny costume, a bunch of homeless guys, and two hot ladies and a white woman who was also an attractive lady. Oh, and a chicken. No, it was not Nugget. It was the chicken that hangs up. Uh, it hangs out over here. Chicken's name was Chicken. We gotta get to Nancy. We gotta help her find crustacean love. What was the reward for f finishing this match? Would you believe literally nothing? What you looking at? Nothing. That's that flashy hermit crab Nancy took a liking to. She still seems kind of enamored. I could let her play here for a bit. Have fun, girl. Nancy, want to go see your friend? Hiss, hiss. Haha, -ha, looking sharp, Nancy. Hey, I mean, your stats do increase, but who cares? Oh, shit. Get fucked. Talk about the cold shoulder. Do crabs have shoulder? Hey. Cheer up, buddy. It's all right. You'll get him next time. Chirp. I have to admit, I got no idea how this is supposed to go between crustaceans. Wish I could help you out. Believe me, I know how scary it can be to put yourself out there. 
when you like somebody. The crab seemed a little wary of strangers. Maybe you could bring him a gift to make a good impression? Yes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's find a nice present and come back later. What would a hermit crab like? Flowers? There's some small ones around Momo Street. We have to get flowers. Which one's Momo Street? Oh, that's where I just was. Well, that's funny. Hey, what's that? Hey, Cajoni. What up, bro? It's a ticket. It's a good fortune. No one's coming to save you. Well, this is a great fight for me to remember how the fucking battle system works. Because I don't fucking remember shit. Oh, I need to turn this shit up. Yeah. Allow me. Looks like I'm up. It does look like you're up, Tommy. I'm sorry, bro just tuned in. Does this guy even know how to play this game? No. I don't know how to play it. I'm sorry. I've never played one of these before in my life. I basically don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, iron chunks. Cure you as an instant kill next to the water? Cool. Hey, it's raining. It's always raining, but it's cool. Hey, look, let's some flowers for the for the crustacean. These are pretty, huh? What do you think, Nancy? Would your crab friend like these? Sup? Why don't you go pick one for him? Aw, that's cute. I hate lobsters, but still. Aww. <laughs> Glad I left it in your capable claws. Let's see if they like your present. Alright. <sighs> Out of my way, cab. Out of my way, white woman. Is that a fucking gun? Ah, oh, crap. You're gonna regret it. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized they took they turned the Daki Makara freaks and they used their rigging to be weirdo oiled up pool people on the beach. Allow me. Let's get it done. Are you getting scared? Yeah! Oh, fuck! That's so cool! Man, the system where they bounce off into each other is incredible. Looks like I'm up. Good job, Ichi. By the way, I got enough fortunes that I actually have a, a charm on Ichi um, where I get more money. I get 10% more money. I'm probably never going to take it all. <laughs> Look, it got scared and went back inside. That's dope. Oh, no! Well, reach in and pull it out again, dork munch. <laughs> what if we poured, like, hot water in the shell to make it come out? Chirp. 
Hey, that's the hermit crab Nancy likes. Those kids are bullying them. Can't run in the sand fast enough to stop them. But what if I... Go. Hey, Nancy. Feel like flying? Yes. Oh my totally. god. Plague of pincers. What? Let's do this. Full power. Wah! Oh. Whoa. Huh? Did you guys see a lobster go by? Lobsters can't fly, ass breath. Right, I know. Chirp, chirp. Oh, hey, Megboy Manuel's rating. Sorry. Thanks, Meg. Sorry, Nancy. A little too much spice on that one. Hiss. What the fuck? What? Some kind of pissed off lobster? Dude, toss it into the ocean. Hiss. It's gonna pinch my fingers. Oh, I hate these. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, nicely done, Nancy. Hey, Meg. Looks like you two are a little bit closer now. Oh, They're friends hey. now. Yo, were you about to break the ice? Sure. Okay. Happy to hear it. Let's come back and visit again soon. Man, that shell really is glamorous. It's like a kind of jewel. You're really saying treasure washed up on the beach? Mm -hmm. Huh? All I know is an old cargo ship ran aground sometime way back and they never got all the loot. Could be some jewels still out there. This coast has a wonky tide. Stuff's still washing up to this day. Uh. Yeah. But what for all the little islands clustered up nearby? <laughs> still, who doesn't like a treasure hunt? Maybe I'll take the kids clam digging this weekend. <laughs> huh. Good idea. Get some quality time in while you can. Mm. Huh. You know, just overthinking things, but I hope nothing happens to that hermit crab. And now we have to leave. I've been told that this... This is specifically the best side quest ever. Oh no! Coming out of her shell is up north! Let's roll! Antique coin. There is so much shit just on the street, it's ridiculous. Is Hawaii like this? It might be. Hey there. You hear about Olivia the Hermit Crab? Hmm? Huh? You mean that one with the shiny shell? I've seen it around, I think. I didn't know how to name. Well, the crab lives in a shell-shaped jewel recovered from a wrecked ship called the Olivia. Huh. Clever. Why don't we go search the beach for it? Precious Jewel's not doing anything for anyone on the back of some fish or whatever. Everyone with a claim to it's probably long gone. I say we sell it and get rich. <laughs> ha ha. I'm in. Let's go get that treasure. Might even be more around for the taking. Shipwreck jewels. Damn, that Herman crab Nancy's in Olivia. Should head back to the beach. Run, guys, run. Run, you can do it. Damn it, Americans. Oh, almost, almost got hit. Oh, thanks for the raid, Games Gone Buggy. Yeah, coconuts. Yeah, literal garbage. Yeah, more coconuts. Yeah. Yay, a gun. A literal gun. No sign of Olivia. Hopefully she's somewhere safe. Guess I'll check again later. <gasps> Yo. Nancy.
They took their their shell. Whoa. Huh? A crab? Wait. Oh no. Is that Olivia? Piss. Chirp. How'd you know she was in there, Nancy? Precious jewels not doing anything. Oh jeez. Olivia, not only did they steal your home, you had to no other place to go but that crummy can. The guys who took your shell must still be nearby. Let's kill them! Oh my fucking god. I'm not gonna let you sleep in squalor. Who knows how many jeweled out crabs there might be. We gotta find them. Haha. -ha. <laughs> look. Look at one by one's a pain in the ass. Let's just net them all up and we're about to hit the jackpot. You bastards. Hey, did you guys steal that fancy shell from a hermit crab? Huh? huh? Piss off, old man. If you're after a piece, you're out of luck. We cleaned out the rest of the beach and we got dibs on this spot too. <laughs> Olivia's shell is all ours. That's gonna fetch a pretty penny. Look, I'm asking you to give the shell back, please. Huh? huh? Give it back to who? The crab. It was cruel of you guys to take it. Give a precious jewel back to some disgusting crab. You're out of your head. I'm not the one chasing crustaceans around the beach and mugging them. Get the hell out of here. This conversation's over. I gotta convince them. What do you know about rock bottom? Hey. Listen. If any of you ever actually lost everything you have, do you know what it's like to be totally abandoned? Huh? Where's this coming from? Not long ago, I was at rock bottom. I had no friends, no family, and no home. Can't you understand how terrifying that is? I'll never forget the feeling of being cast off by society, having to beg and fight for scraps in a world without any pity. He just keeps on talking. Mm. This guy really isn't normal. Taught me the value of helping others. <laughs> Even strangers you never see again. We're all in this together, so come on, give the shell back huh? and- You're not giving back shit! You lost me like five worlds into that fucking canny ass monologue. I'm done listening to this hairball. Huh? Yeah, we're wasting good crab time. Let's just kill him! <laughs> Fine, if that's how it has to be. I'll beat you up with baseball bats so I can steal your crab shells. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Get him, Kiryu. Yeah. Well, I beat this guy to death with a cold wrench. This guy, not some weirdo crab nerd that strong. Kind of uncalled for. Look, whatever, man. Okay, we're leaving. We won't come back to this beach again. Well, oh well, got my shell, uh, huh, Nancy? Nancy? Where'd she go? <gasps> Olivia. Yo, Olivia. Got something that belongs to you. Ah. Then again, hard to shake the feeling that as long as you've got this, more people will try to take it from you. Oh my god! Nancy? Nancy went on their own little side quest! I see. You went off looking for something better. <laughs> the choice is yours in the end, Olivia. Yay!
fits all right? That looks very nice on you, Olivia. A good, honest home. Everyone deserves that. Yeah. Speaking of, let's head back. <laughs> Do you want to join us? Yeah! Yeah! Welcome to the party. All right. Well then. Oh, Tommy's got a dream over here. Let's do it. Tommy Zawa, what could possibly be your dream? Hey, hey, hey bitch. Hey, guy. Oh, crap. Goons. Kiryu's deadpan through this? Well, Kiryu's like, yeah, no, I've done this before. Right? Right? Kiryu's like, yeah. Yeah, I've seen this. Like, there's nothing new under the sun to cure you. Alright, Tommy. Eric. Let's find out about your dream job. A cafe. Now that could be real nice. Running a chill little spot by the ocean. Whipping up coffee from the regulars, just catching up, hanging out. <sighs> what a serene way to go about Yeah, life. it's a good job. You're a bit of a people person, Ichiban. So you are perfect for front of house. What? You're counting me as one of your staff already? Oh, you bet. So start networking. Bring in those regulars and get me some discounted supplies. Here we go again. Tell me the hustler. Might as well get to work. We're really opening up. Oh, we're becoming friends now. This is, this is like the mo- this is probably the goofiest system for f meeting and understanding people ever. You're playing bingo with their fucking likes and dislikes. Isn't there a t-shirt for this? I think there is. Anyway, let's continue on. Ugh. Everyone get out of my way. I'm in America. Wait. No, it isn't. That's how... That's how elementary school students introduce new students to each other? No. Holy shit! Give me that bouquet. We gotta get down there, gang. For context, it is Ted Force of Random Dungeon and got a bunch of money. Great. I wonder what the, the money dimension is on this one. There always is. Here we go. Oh, it's Dodonko Island? Oh, cool. You asking for a 
Well, a lot of goons on this side of the street. Let's get it done. Open one. Get lost. Looks like I'm up. A lot of Americans looking for trouble. Here we go. This is gonna hurt. Oh. Be good in your Oh man! He stole five dollars! Alright! I can't believe it! He shook me down for five dollars! How could he have done this? Oh, let me check something. Nufo Reach! Go ahead. <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Oh, man. Huh? Oh, this is a unique fight. Alright. Got you now. Oh, really? Break yourself. Allow me. Get him, Kiryu. There you go. Oh shit, those are healers. Some healing tone. Oh no, big dog! That was so fast, I wasn't even ready. Oh man. This is tough. Let's get it done. Okay. Allow me. Don't get oh, come on. Break. Let's get him. Take this fist. Okay, well I got him. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. Damn. Oh shit! I won't do that. I'm stuck. Oh, make it quick. Follow my lead. My head is killing me. Aha, he's stunned. My head is killing me. This could be it. What's the hold up? I won't miss that. There we go. Excellent. We made it. Oh, I got a ton of shit from that. Hey, he got experience even though he's dead. I'm Hell yeah.
He gets 30% less if he's dead? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, it's a chicken! Bagok! Do you want a banana? He loved it! We're best friends now! Bagok! Party members not in the party get 80%. Oh, dude, the, with the way the, the leveling curve works, that's actually completely fine. I was shocked because Tomizawa started at rank, uh, sorry, at like two or three levels underneath the party. And then he just caught up to be exactly the same level. Like they did a really good job with the experience curve. I love that. Give me food, we're very hungry. I would like to order $85 worth of bullshit. Let's see again. Oh, I see you ordered every last coconut on the menu. Sure did, bitch. Hey, man, we're in Hawaii. And nothing screams Hawaii like coconuts. That's just basics. You really associate coconuts with Hawaii. I never have, Wait, really? I Dude, come on. You might get that idea. Right. On the flip side, if you were in Japan, I'm sure you'd have a whole list of iconic things you'd want to try. Mm, for example? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, sushi, for one. Uh, tempura, and... Mount Fuji? Sushi, I can understand. But what does Mount Fuji got to do with food? Yeah, seriously, dude. My bad. I guess it's kind of hard to come up with examples as a native. But I'm sure Taco there's a Yaki, lot dude. There, Curry. Well, there are definitely attractions that are more geared toward tourists. Things locals usually don't give a crap about. Ramen. I guess you're right. Indian wait, food. Does that mean you don't like coconuts? No, I eat them all the time. Even my soap is coconut based. Ooh, what's about to panic there? <laughs> Cheesy, Jibon. The that Indian the food in Japan's in great. Keep living your best coconut filled life, Tommy. Uh, sure? Yeah! Yeah, that was great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, oh, oh, mm, mm. Mm, yeah, oh, mm. What's that? I guess we'll find out when we run into it. What? Don't think you could get away. A lot of random battles with Americans on the street. Let's get it done. I don't know if you guys know that. But Americans have many random hey, battles. Here I come. Is 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 that is it like that in in America? Holy shit. I got fucked. What's up, Ichiban? Mm hmm? Huh? Oh, shit! Wait a sec. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. You it's a guy! You punks back in Yokohama. About to get a rise out of me on camera. What was your name again? Yeah, I know it's a real dude, no. Asakura. The primetime MMA maestro. You telling me you've never seen my channel? I am, in fact, telling you that. I'm practically always trending. How about you trend my balls oh, out of your mouth? It does ring a bell. Asakura. I remember now. So, why's a busy guy like you out in Hawaii? On vacation? As if. No. I came out here for you. See? See what I'm talking me? about? Okay. What for? Remember what we said? Now, next time's the real deal. Yeah. Except there wasn't a next time after you vanished. And let me tell you. Look at that big you fat guy! Pain in the ass. Hold on. You're telling me you flew halfway across the ocean for a rematch? Ding, ding, ding. Ever since we threw down that day, I've been itching for another round. I want to go all out. No distractions. That's not very nice. No holding back. Off. No holds barred. Just to watch. It'll drive my viewers wild for sure. That reason enough for you. Now are you gonna face me or what? You're persistent. Gotta give you credit for that. 
Guessing you won't take no for an answer? Of course not. Now shut up and fight me, Ichiban! Oh, you're also fat? Yeah, I know. You're a Twitch mod. Oh! Let's do it! That's picking time! Uh, oh, it's just me. That's great. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty good. Oh, I have a second turn because of my incredible speed, Asakura. Oh shit! Too bad, loser. Can't believe I just got to hit him with a bat like that. Hell yeah! Stronger. Of course you'd be tougher than last time. There, you satisfied now? Satisfied my ass. Asakura, when you first fought, I noticed something. The other punks you were with, they were nowhere near your level, man. Unlike them, you knew how to put up a fight. Yeah, I guess I do. If you know that already, then why keep wasting your time? What? Wasting my time? Yeah, going around picking fights for the camera. Is that all you want out of life? Or do you want to hit thing hitting random people makes you strong? It's more to it than that. Well, yeah, but maybe you haven't noticed, but it's what you protect that makes you strong. Whether it's your dream or the people around you. As for you, yeah, you throw a mean punch, but if the only thing moving in your fist is anger, just stay right where you are. Hey. So, I'll ask you again. You satisfied where you're at, Asakura? No. No, I'm, I've been feeling stuck. Last time I even put effort to a fight was, I don't know, but after getting beat by you twice, I gotta say I'm pissed. At the same time, I'm fucking pumped, bro. You are, huh? Yeah, all I want to do is get stronger. Focus on my training, then hit you up for a rematch. <laughs> huh, you better stick with it, then. Even, well, with a... Uh, uh, it's gonna be hard. I see that. That's why I'm going back to the essentials. No more bullshit and a waste of my time, like you said. Starting the day, the week I said, Curry, you news no more. When you see me, I'll be doing things legit. That way I can take pride in what I do. Oh, uh -huh. That right? Give me another round, I'll show you how serious I am. Maybe I haven't been a punk this whole time, but I'll come back as the MMA monster I said I was. I'll give you a match worth fighting. I'm trying to become a mon. Good. Then we can both learn things. Until then, don't give up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye, Ichi. Asakura, the MMA Meister, huh? Guy still got a way to go, but he's already a force to be reckoned with. Fighting him could be good for both of us. Better not underestimate him, though. Seems dead set on beating me. This guy's probably... This guy's merciless melee, huh? Oh, is that... Oh. Oh, was that the skill he used? Oh, that's really great. That's a good one. That is a great move, isn't it? Guys. Hello. Oh, look at all these friends. Bro! You're cool! Oh, fuck off, really. You're sleepy. Wish I had something to wake up. Mmm. I have a toughness light, dipshit. Oh, I'll give you a stamina and light. Yeah, Danny. Good job, idiot. Wait, what? In the car? <gasps> Americans can even attack you from their cars. Let's get it done. That guy's a fucking shotgun. Holy shit. Gary, you gotta kill that guy. He's got a shotgun. Oh, 
this perfect guard system is incredible. I absolutely adore it. Here we go. Like, it's so much fun to just perfectly guard these attacks. Let's get it done. And then knock him into Kiryu. Oh, well, he's dead, but... I got a Sujidex out of that, bro. Like, this is like, uh, you know, the Mario games with the RPGs? Where you clicky-clicky the button to jumpy-jumpy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Aloha. Hey, it's a cat! I'll be your friend on Facebook. Cat food! Yeah. Ichiban, I'm so fucking tough and fucking shit hot. Meet me behind the warehouse, loser. Near the docks? Where's that at? I found it. Man, that guy must have been training hard. Oh my god! It's a wild hog American! Can you believe it? Allow me. Alright. You're in it now. Let's get it done. Americans are so strong when they have pizza. Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, I learned this. I guess I should show it to you guys. Yeah, Tiger Drop! What's with the side eye? Somebody said that I get the briefcase. I don't know what briefcase you're talking about, but. Really pissing me off. Right. Tiger drop does negate all damage. Allow me. Holy shit. All right. Let's go. Come at me. And pick your time. What the hell the Holy fuck. Brutal diss! Oh shit! He talks so much shit! Here we go. Looks like I'm up. Allow me. Learning more every day. I wonder how many of Kiryu's like moves stay like universal across his different classes. Hey. You play sells cakes too? That's quite the lineup. Taxi driver pro tip: It's easier to pick up customers in front of a car. Really? No one wants to risk hoofing it while lugging around a whole cake. Oh, that's a good point. Which is exactly why I know where all the bakeries are. No idea which are good though. Just when I thought you were finally Bro, he's so right. All right. I've bought a cake and been like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Wait a second. Oh, this is a big this is a big old mall. Aloha, everyone. Oh, this is a real mall. 
This is a very real mall, isn't it? Oh, Toazon, we got another drive over there. Oh, fuck, jugglers. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's evil Santa Claus! Evil Hawaiian Santa Claus. Here we go. You're in it now. Time to take out the crash. Holy fuck. Looks like I'm up. This motherfucker's got a gun. <laughs> No, you can't hypnotize me. I got no brain. are cool oh no i don't have anything i'm so sorry i wonder what games they have i guess i'll check it out when there's time i just want to lose myself in a good game every once in a while were you a hardcore gamer at some point oh man for sure i used to play tons of genesis and stuff like that genesis what's that an arcade game now nah, it's a home console i think it's called mega drive over japan Wait, the Mega Drive's called Genesis out here? Mega Drive's already a Western name, so what was the point of rebranding? Heck if I know. We're really opening up. I don't know! He's right! He's right! Oh my god, Ono Michio's blowing up. Ono Michio is blowing up. Come on! Wait, Robo Michio. Oh shit. Yeah! Nothing I can get. Wait, hold on. Somebody was like, what the fuck, how? What are you talking about? All you do is do it. Give him the Robo Michio figure. You better treasure it forever, you little shit. Thanks for the Kwame drink. That means extreme. Hey, man. Oh, there's... Oh. Hey, Craig! What do you bitches got? Uh, ooh, a golf club. Running clothes. A baseball. I feel like baseballs are good to have. Value pack insoles? Eh... Yeah, let's do it. Let's use that golf club. Look at this thing! I did not do almost anything. You want a kitty cat plush, huh? I did not do almost anything off stream. Oh, I'm at the wrong fucking... I'm at the wrong fucking one. Damn it! That's the weirdest looking kitty cat I've ever seen. Oh! Oh! 
fuck? Oh, man, I fucked that up. Alright, let's go! Oh, you piece of fucking shit. Oh my god. All right, let's see what we got here with a kitty cat. Oh, yeah! That's a start! That's a start right there. No! Yeah, bitches! We're friends now. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh wait, there's more stuff here. It's good around here. Oh well, that's too much. I can't. Okay, I need to leave. All right, upstairs we go. Oh man, there's so many friends to be made in Hawaii. Look at all these friends to make. Hey, why do you have a text? I've never seen such a big shopping center. I can hardly believe it. You can't even visit every store in one day. Guess I'll come back tomorrow, huh? Aloha. Wow, it's crazy how much... Oh, that's too expensive. Thank you. It's crazy how many shot... How all the, the arms and armor are spread out. Aloha. Karaoke more? Thank you for... Like, how are you supposed to remember where everything is? <sighs> Said this place is called Anaconda Shopping Center. It's huge. Well, it's the biggest shopping mall in Honolulu. They've got pretty much all you'd ever need. We should load up on supplies before we head into District 5. Oh, you go to the map, pick a store, look at their inventory? Hmm. Aloha. After our last talk, I realized why he's been calling my name. I've got something fun to show you. Meet me by the PC, PC shop. Aloha. The Tsuchimon Sensei is here? I wonder what, he, uh, wonder what he's up to. Oh, he was where I came from. I want to be the very best. I want to be. I want to be the best. Ah, oh, crap! Your face is gone. You asked for it. Here we go. Did I just kill all of them? Nearly. I have to say, Tomizawa at the start, his class is terrible. Cabby is awful. Holy shit. Yo, 
Kasuga, aloha. It's not aloha, me. What are you doing here? <sighs> Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of Suji science. Hell of a tan for a research trip. So, what's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. Yeah, Pal World was too shameless. Yeah, uh, yeah, Pal World was too far. <laughs> what the hell? Indeed. Oh my god. Underground Coliseum. The Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Suji League, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Does Sujimon have a what say in this? To it than meets the or eye, is no. this slavery? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. <laughs> Look, there's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack. He's down to his last mon. Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy. <clears throat> <laughs> is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. No, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? Uh, no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! Oh. <sighs> This really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three Mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer who Sujimon did. Is that the discreet four? A three on three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the league's highest ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King. King, huh? Look at him. Well, that guy's posh as shit. Oh, no time for that now. The match is starting. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner. Oh, I'm in. Saddled with debt. I'm in he now. I don't have a Sujimon. To stay afloat. Koichi Ideno. And his opponent in the gold corner. The former Yakuza Kum Taurus who never stays down. Ichiban Kasuga. But I need a Sujimon. Uh, me? What the hell's going on, Sensei? I'll admit I've always been the type to beg forgiveness than ask permission. I'll explain later. You just need to win. Wait, win? 
But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei, I haven't got any Sujimon. Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum. Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me, his student- Are Kuro. these the fucking the losers from Saijima's fucking side Don't quest in four? Who the hell are these guys? Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion. And a Sujiman in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sort of... <laughs> went bust. Thankfully, the Sujiman Sensei came to my rescue. That was like 10 years Another ago! Check, I'm here to help him out once more. The Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excels at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents don't look so tough. Just give Sodachi-san and his boys some guidance and trust them. You can win. Seriously? Serious. You better not give me any crap if I lose. And without further ado, this Sujimon League rookie match is on! The beautiful Ish King. In Sujimon battles, Ichiban will be t put to the test as a Sujimon trainer, putting his team against his rivals and commanding a Sujimon to attack and use skills. Ichi commands wisely while keeping an eye on Sujimon's strengths and weaknesses, and you're bound to achieve victory. You guys ready for this? Do it up! All right, boys, charge! Whoa! -ho -ho! Put the kids to bed for this Looking one. good, Kasuga. Oh, that was a slick pose. Ha! <laughs> you remind me of the Sujimon Sensei himself in his prime. Ha! I guess I got caught up in the moment. Anyway, what in the hell do I do now? Ha! Huh, worry not. I'm a first-rate Sujimon after all. I'll walk you through the basics. You will? Ha! Huh, thanks. Let's do it, Sudachi. Sweet. Now the first step is to build up your team's strength. Attacking pointlessly only exhausts their stamina. As a trainer, you got a white watch for the moment. We're ready to go. Before Sujimon can attack, they must accumulate Sujimon power. Once it reaches 10, you can give them a command. The rate at which your team gains SP is determined by their total speed. More powerful attacks require more SP. Low SP attacks can be used more frequently. Consider which is best. Oh yeah. I'm all fired up now. Kasuka-san, what should I do? Sadachi. What are these Suji thinking? Actually, scratch that. Never ask that. Trust me, it's nightmarish. Oh my god. Light and dark defeat each other. Look at the concentration on these freaks. Faces. Fire beats green and green beats blue. Folks, I'm getting the Suji super shitters. Nice move, Sadachi san. Gaha, <laughs> naturally. Great instructions on your part, Kasuka. Your Sujimon team's ready to roll. That's when you can tell us to attack. Oh, by the by. Do you know that Sujimon have different types? It's a good idea to direct us to attack Sujimon. We got a type advantage over. Huh. Spells are people than I thought. Sujimon are blades, frost, nature, light, and shadow. Takes care of the basics. Try commanding ourselves for yeah, now. Do it. Sujimon's position to the enemy affects their range and power. Attacks aim dead ahead are stronger. All diagonals are weaker. If you're too far away, you'll be able to attack at all. Once per turn, you can hit square to swap a Suji's place with another. The next move could be fatal for the attacker, the defender, my goodness! Considering a pinch hitter, maybe. Oh, baby! Type advantage, bitches. Big. 
Back to the drawing board, huh? <laughs> Phew, we're on a roll. Feels like we can accomplish something anything together. Let's try a big finishing move. Sujimon naturally accumulate morale. Exploiting type advantages and attacking multiple Sujimon at once will get more MP. The more you and your Sujimon care, the faster the meter will charge. Use MP to do big attacks. Spell shell attacks do major damage to enemies or heal Sujimon. Time, time them well. Powerful skills consume MP and end your turn and empty your SP cage completely. All right, Sadachi. What are these Suji thinking? Hold on a second. Scratch that. N My goodness. There we the go. The trainers reconsidering the lineup for their life choices. Oh, I see. Let's do this. Oh my God! When one of your Suji goes for a critical special attack, cheer them on to give you them a boost. Stopping on red makes them hit all enemies and greatly increases. Green ensures their attack strikes forward and diagonally and increases healing. Landing on blue makes Sujimon a bit self-conscious. Reducing their attack range to only one enemy and decreasing it. Oh, that's actually super fast. Gaha, I got a load of that. What the fuck? That was awesome. See, as we keep attacking, the team builds morale. That's your chance to make us unleash something nuts. Special moves win battles. That about wraps it up, Kasuga. All that's left to do is celebrate with a commemorative photo. Everybody gather around! Whoa! I'm so glad we won! Well, let's wrap up this victory! And smile! This music is so fucking... Oh, it's so close. The winner is the Kasuga team. Oh, we did it. Sweet, sweet victory. Whew. How the hell did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. I knew you had what it takes. Knew it in my bones. Couldn't be. Wait, that guy. That's Professor Morikasa, isn't it? Uh, oh shit, it's really him! The former champion! I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now? Or isn't he? How intriguing! The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay. <laughs> Morikasa son. <sighs> that got out of hand, Kasuga. I'm sorry. No shit. The hell was all that? I need some details here, Sensei. Right, I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Suji League champion. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. Mm. The Suji League committee? Did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate <gasps> their wealthy Fixing clients. matches. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best. Become Suji League Master and win the championship. The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. 
But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right. Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sodachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Is that really how people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to oh. boot. Putting oh. together a team is what you excel Holy at. Holy shit. I don't know. <laughs> the committee possesses terrifying wealth. That's so They've mean. Ruined the lives of countless poor Sujimon, all swallowed up by the system. And I am the Sujimon Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujimon brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment. This is so fucking dramatic, dude. I'm asking a lot, I know. You're the only one who can help. Mm. All right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Kasuga, words fail me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> I always cry when someone else cries. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works, but I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Yeah. Hmm. You'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. So dachi san and right. his pupils are three, so I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? Yeah, how do I get more Sujis? That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? What? It really has to be that rough. <laughs> Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Sujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. What? A raid? It's a gathering spot for oh strong my fucking Sujimon, God. where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuka, go over there and flex. D why? Look, raid dwellers respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor, and then win their hearts. Just start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. Oh my god. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Anyway, get to it, Sujimon Master Kasuga. I'll give it a shot. Oh, my God. You look pretty strong. Let's see who's stronger. Raids are a test of strength amongst the most powerful creeps. Be able to come out on top, you'll have a chance to recruit the defeated Sujimon. Note that these are not real street these are real street fights, not sanctioned Sujimon battles. While participating in a raid, you could make a bonus raid, which are two types. Reward raids, which grant bonus rewards, or legendary raids, which give you the opportunity to catch a legendary Sujimon. You reach the raid before Sujimon appear. You can use raid item to turn it into a bonus raid. This guy got pulled in, huh? Let's fight. <laughs> Bring it on. Allow me. Wait, so I just beat the shit out of him? <laughs> Done. Okay, I'll ask him to join. 
Give me a break. What? In Hawaii, some Tsujimon might find themselves impressed and hang out. Use this opportunity to recruit them. You have to make it worth their while. Pour your feeling, your heart into presenting them with a gift. Then convey your feeling to show sincerity. Quality of what you offer affects how genuine your request. A well-timed box can be key to... Okay. Oh, that must have come with the regular thing. With the fancy, with the fancy edition. There you go. There's a little something from me. That's for me? I, d I wanted okay. to buy that fancy edition of the game for the songs, man. I didn't want to cheat. I got him. Ugh, Sujimon, you recruit? I've already built up a substantial amount of experience. They're going to be immediate help. When they seem to be willing to negotiate, there's little reason not to recruit them. I guess I have DLC Mons. All right, I caught a Sujimon! Uh, or, or something like that. <laughs> well done, Kasuga. That's the way. From now on, if a Sujimon hangs around after defeat, try it. Them to your team. Just You'll never guess who the Sujimon DLC are. I bet they're um, this list here Majima and Daigo and Sajima and them. Sujimon Dase is automatically updated list of recruitable Sujimon. I think I get it. But don't I also have to help them get stronger? A simple way to improve your Sujimon is to shove <laughs> some Sujimunch down their gullets. However, it's better to raise them up in battle. If you spot rival trainers in the city, I'm probably going to do it legit unless I hit like a dramatic wall. As you wall. defeat other trainers, your ranking in the league will increase. At a high enough rank, you can even challenge the fearsome discreet four. The current champion, King, sits at the very top of that peak. You'll have to dispatch the rest first. It's going to take long, you think? Yeah. Ah, with me by your side, it'll be a cakewalk. Let's go grind, knock out the four, and then we'll all take a trip to Suji Land. <laughs> there, there's not really a Suji Land, right? So don't you say. One more thing. Let me install the Suji League app on your phone. You should find it quite useful. All right. I guess I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Kasuga. This is it. You must travel across the land, searching far and wide. Catch Sujima, become a man. I'll wait here inside. Uh, are those lyrics? It, it's uh, something I've been working on. Forget it. Go catch those mons, Kasuga. Power World's just too much. Sujimon, huh? It's the last thing I expect to get dragged into. But hey, it might be fun. I guess I'll try catching another Sujimon when I can. Your trainer rank indicates your reputation as a Sujimon trainer. It increases as you win Sujimon battles, so defeating rival trainers around Hawaii is crucial. Once your trainer rank gets to a certain level, you can challenge a member to the Discreet Four at their personal gem. Earning a badge by defeating them increases your status from rookie trainer to the Platinum. This, in turn, encourages your Sujimon to work harder, increasing their level cap. Okay, well, I'll do the dis I'll be doing the discreet four on stream. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you guys wait. You really do got a thing for trouble, don't you? Hey, it's not like I go out looking for it. <laughs> uh, seems at least you had fun. Uh, come on, guys. Anyway, should we start heading over? Probably. We haven't done much shopping. How about we peek around some of the stores? Like there. But they'll have some stuff. Yeah. You're not wrong there. Be smart to stock up for District 5. Oh, that's... Hey, I appreciate that they tell me that before the dung jumps. Hey. I literally just bought this shit. Thank you. I, I love that. 
check out the location of Sujimon trainers in the Sujimon League app. We should look at a gumball machine. I think there were some gumballs this way. I thought I saw a gumball machine around here. There it is. Wait, the gumball is for Sujimon? Oh my god. Fine. Let's see. You're just picking up people out of fucking jail? Misdemeanor wiener! Let's get stronger together. All right, let's check out the suit. Choosing your Sujimon is a vital thing. Okay, hold on. Reserve members, we have Kiryu, Zhao, Daigo, the guy I just got, Jungi Han, Majima, the tiger, a uh, magic tiger, Nanba, Chitose, Saijima, that bear that Saijima fought that one time, this guy, Adachi, Saiko, Akiyama, Shonhi, and Tomizawa. Uh, is there a way to determine which guys are real and which guys are the DLCs? I assume the only ones that, like this guy, you know, he's a misdemeanor wiener, you know. The shiny icon? What there's what shiny icon? Oh, the the the. Okay, I see. Swap position. There you go. Okay, I see. So I currently only have five Sujimons. I see. All right. I have Sujimon Dossier. A hypocritical man who has a strong sense of justice but skirts the law by wearing a cop's uniform wants to hold a real gun someday! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, this is how I tell. Okay. Well, might as well go for another one. Who could it be? It's a gang punk. Let's get stronger together. Yeah. That's a pretty normal guy. All right. Gang punk. There we go. I got all three types. I wonder what the friendship meter does. Holy shit. All right, well, there's a Sujimon battle right there. The back guy in reserve, huh? Oh, I should probably put, yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. Um, there you go, everyone. There's a Sujimon trainer. Wow, that guy's strong. Something wrong. Looks like I'm up. Here we go. You're in it. Yeah. Guard break, motherfucker. Oh, he's eating the pizza. Oh, American special move. trainer here what is it oh let's do it yep let's give it everything we got everyone ready time for a suit you battle oh my god game faces everybody got you bitches here comes a doozy you on the right you're weak Oh, that guy's got a fucking gun. Holy shit. Oh, no, that guy's dead. You're going to love this. We're just warming up. Yeah! Good job, Sadachi. Here comes a doozy. You see that? That's the game. This motherfucker is so dead. Yeah! Oh yeah, the whole team! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! I got a gardener gnome! This vacation was a mistake. Alright. Well. We've got a gardener gnome, it seems. Alright. Let's see if we can sw switch our party. Where are you, Gardener Gnome? Is there a way to, like... There we go. Edge Trimmer. Oh, he's level one. No, he's not as good as what I got right now. I mean, he is faster, but he's way weaker. Let's get serious. Hey. All right. I guess we're going back here, huh? There's a raid over there. It's gonna get active in one minute. Holy shit, I'm sorry. What is that? A raid in a couple minutes. Oh, 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 fuck your cafe. Dude, I want that. I want that wild hog as a as a fucking Suji so bad. I'm sorry, those S mask guys aren't blank spots in your roster. They're fodder for Suji Mom for Awakening. You must have gotten them with a fancy addition. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Time. 
Here we go. You gotta wake it. You feed Sujimon to other Sujimon to strengthen the what? Understand. What's a Suji spot? Saying a show, dipshit. You'll regret this. All right, let's go. Allow me. Oh, sorry, bud. Okay, hold on. Let me get this chest, and then I'll figure out the Suji spot. Should I open it? Three keys to open. Oh, that's this pretty good. Needs more keys than one. Well, I had a lot of good stuff. Hope there's more like it. Your one-stop Suji spot. These devices have been installed. They're Suji spots. Person you receive free Sujimon items. Interacting, you can mix Sujimon shakes to strengthen your Sujimon, awaken or involve them. Okay. At sushi spots, you can blend a tasty shake using Suji Munch. Munch. <laughs> to increase their level with only minimal toxicity. Awaken. Once you enhance your Sujimon by selecting Awaken, by feeding a Sujimon another of the same species, their stats will improve. Of course, the Sujimon uses Awakening Father. Well, don't worry. Oh, so these guys are just fodder. So once I have a Sujimon that I actually really like, I can just feed them one of these fucking freaks. Okay, well, I don't have a problem using that. Oh my god, there's so much Suji... Suji drama. Wait, it evolves? Like, turns into a different fucking Sujimon? This is a lot. Evolve Sujimon. Holy fuck. Certain Sujimon have been fully awakened and can evolve. Not only does this raise their stats, they can unlock new skills. Holy fuck. Sparring. Get experience by taking on trainer. You're pro oh, this is just, hey, I want to fight people right now. Then it's purchase Sujimon items online. This is also Pokemon Go. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is like a whole thing, bro. This is like a whole thing. Hey, rookie trainer. I'll, d I'll kill you. I'll kill you, bitch. You guys ready for this? Keep your spirits up. Time for a Sujimon battle. All right, let's do this. Oh, crap. Oh, nice try, bitch. Okay, hold on a second. I have to think carefully. This guy. I choose you. Oh, my God, really? Here comes Punchy! Yeah! Yeah! Tight weakness, bitch! Damn it, I need. Time to shake things up! Yeah! Has mad smattering! Take that. Time to die. Yeah. 
Yeah! Okay. Damn it, that guy is, uh... Pretty strong. Oh, oh, oh no! My sushis! I believe in you all! Time to shake things up! Yeah, you run! Show me what you've got! Oh! Type advantage doesn't mean anything. If they're weak. Whoa! I'm so glad we won! Like Sadachi's so actually pretty good. And smile. Holy shit. I got a blackmailer demon. Yay! Seriously? Shadow. All right, Sujimon party. Let's see. Uh, let's see who I could swap out. Oh, man. Where's the blackmailer demon? What type is he? He's a darkness type, huh? I'm gonna swap him out. Because I don't like these guys at all. I just don't like them. All right. oh, I'm defeating these Tsuchimon like nobody's business, guys. Oh man, that sucks. You guys moved right out of the way. Come on. Here I come. Oh man. Allow me. So basically, so <gasps> I've never had. Oh. This guy's name is Parkinson. I care about you, Parkinson. There you go. Token of friendship. How about it? <sighs> wow. Uh, really? Will to All right, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, he's really strong. He's a beast type. Hell yeah. Well, this is like a legit whole game here. I'm I'm in fucking awe here. I am in awe. I have seven fucking tickets. Let's fucking go! Yo! Wild hog. Wanna do it like I, it says skip, but does that Dojo Dumbass Crazy Heel Shiver Dance Dictator Committee Agent Let's get stronger together Okay, I want some of these guys on my fucking team. Hold on. Oh my god, no. Oh, I, I didn't even... Oh, this fucking thing rules! Yeah, Shiver is cool as hell. I'm gonna involve him. Today's my lucky day. Ooh! All right, jackpot! Alright, hold on.
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Body oh yeah, he's light. Shiver. Alright, okay, 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 okay. Newest. Okay, right off the bat. Look at this dude. Next up, Shiver. Okay, you're up next. Dance director? No. Crazy heel! Absolutely. Fire, light, and darkness. Let's go. I want to replace Sadachi so bad, but the types. The types! How do I tell who's, like, stronger than the others? Alright. I've done it. I know I have the pizza shield guy, but, like... Should should watch I replace Sodachi with Wild Hog? He just he just Sodachi just seems way better. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep. Okay. There. There. Sadachi's gonna stay in the front. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we need to get to the su the Suji spot. <gasps> Wait a second. There's garbage. Wait, I gotta help this guy. Oh my god, this game. It's like the best RPG I've ever played. Except for Persona 3 Reload out tomorrow. I can't believe I did that. <gasps> Nicotine! No! So I was actually um, informed that the reason why um, here you probably gets cancer from a toxic waste spill is that the cigarettes that he smokes in the game are real cigarettes. Looks like I'm up. Here we go. Like they've sponsored the game. I'm well aware that real cigarettes give me real cancer. So I give you real cancer. I would never smoke a cigarette. Cigarettes are gross. Hey, I should read the, the thing for Shiver, someone said. Where's Shivers? Look at all these Suji mods. Young shut-in who can't bring himself to go outside, trying to reintegrate himself back in society little by little. By participating in matches. That's a little strange. Anyway. Whoa. How do I awaken a Sujimon? How do I know which ones have evolutions? Tells you in the dossier? Eh? Really? Let's all hop on. Go to evolve. Oh, smart. Okay. Interesting that 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 silver guy can't evolve. 
But Shivers, Rivera. Oh, I see. You can evolve. Let's awaken, Sadachi. Oh my god. Incredible. Oh my Come god! Look at him go, it's incredible. Now let's if Oh, I can't evolve him. Darn. Sadashi so evolves by a story? Okay. Alright. 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 Oh! Suni is evolving! I like this guy. I'm gonna evolve him. Amazing! Come a long way. Oh, oh, oh! He's evolving again. It's Satan. Is that the Grim Reaper? Yeah. All right, well, he's maxed out. Holy hell. What about the wrestler man? What about you, brother? Yeah! Paige, it's Gatchup, but it's okay. Paige, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Evolution complete. Monster heal. Yeah, I'll read the dossiers for their involved form. He's evolving again! Holy shit. Nice, man. Go. That is just hawk and animal. That is one of the Legion of Doom. I did it. Can this guy evolve? Let's see, stray dog, stray hang dog, Parkinson. He can evolve! Homeless man became. Homelesser man! Homelesser man became. What the fuck? 
What the what? fuck? That is a werewolf. That is a werewolf man. Franklin, what are you going to become? Evolution complete. Toxicrete. That's fucking hilarious. Get ready. Get ready. He's evolving again! Toxicrete became Hemlock Doc! That's actually a really great name for a guy. I think I've maxed out my whole team. I have. I maxed out my whole gang. I did it. There's a raid! <laughs> I'll get really pissing me off. And where are you guys at? Open Safety first. Healing. That's right. They're dead. Allow me. Hey, it's another one of these guy. Wait, is there any... If I have a fully evolved version of one of these guys, there's no point in actually getting them again, right? That's what I thought. Oh, wow, they each do evolve, don't they? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to use the DLC Sujis. But I, I don't really feel bad about using those, uh, those transfer guys or whatever you were calling. Resort Brawlers! Let's do it. Get ready. Oh, wait. There... Oh. Oh, my God. Let's get it done. Here we go. There you go, bitch. you still Who's this? I've never had one of these losers. It's a jabber jobber. I go. care about you, jabber jobber. Whoa, hang on. Guess you're the boss now. I sure am. I did it. All right. I can handle anything. You sure can, Kiryu. But for now, do you know what time it is, Kiryu? Is that a Sujimon trainer? It's a Sujimon! Oh, it's a dangerous mugger. Let's kill him. What you looking at? 
What you looking at? I ain't letting you run away. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Allow me. Well, that was easy. You looking for a beating? Yeah. We'll get another dangerous mugger. I care about you. How about it? What? No way. I care about you. All right. You can count on me. So Aeto Court messaged me about like putting a steam input thing for Sujimon capturing. Um, hey, you there. Be a good work I don't right need now. help mashing, bro. All right. Let's get it done. Here we go. Let's go. The mash part gets harder. I'm not too worried about it. Wow, I hate that term. I hate it. Holy shit. Oh, we'll see, I guess. Oh, he's dead. Oh, damn it. There's no way. Here we go. Think you can handle this? There you go. All right. Let's eat some food. Aloha. Every single piece of fucking food on the menu. All at once. Let's dig in. <laughs> Always hated pickles as a kid. Look at me now. Chilling in Hawaii, snacking on pickles and vodka. Life really passes you by. Yeah, soon enough you'll be in an old folks home. That's not my point here. It's just an emotional experience, okay? Quick, quick not ass. Sure oh, all right, I'm here. What I miss? I'm a Suchimon trainer it. now. To a kid, posting up at the bar in a foreign country must be like something out of a movie. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> if I could send a message to Kid Kasuga like, yo, I'm I have to tell you guys, I think I've said it in the past. <laughs> I doubt he'd believe it. But and yet here if, I am. Oh no! I also that. I got I got the the boot. crustacean. His life's full of surprises. I got the, I got the Olivia. Good buddy. Yeah. Um. Life is full of surprises. If I lived in Japan, Never I would probably I'd drink all the time. The middle-aged ex yakuza for company. Lay off with that. The fucking. Shit, what I'm trying to say is the fucking like happen. vibe well, off a Japanese micro bar is so awesome. <laughs> it could happen. Not long ago, my life was in total darkness. All I could do was stumble around like an idiot. But after meeting you, like so classy and chill. I feel I can finally take a few steps forward. You're a cool ass guy, each time. Yeah. I am a cool ass guy. <laughs> and I hope we stay buds for a long ass time. Now, where's your glass? Ha <laughs> ha! Cheers. Would I smoke too? No, smoking's for idiots. Go. Yeah, that was great. Had a good one. Oh, let's search under that car. Yeah. What are you looking at? All right. Let's save the game. In the ghetto. What are you looking at? All right, you know, I should probably save right here. All right, 
So this is the gate to District 5. We still got time to go. Should we just wait around? Yes. <sighs> hey, you made it. Finally feel like doing your job for once. Piss off. So you can really get us into District 5? Call me out all you want. Okay. The, Either way. Too much Nuki says something in the chat that is wild to me, which is, Pat, before you see this Looney Tunes shit, know that I have been to a place just like this in a in LA. And Rotat Brutzum says District 5 is real. I met my Canadian girlfriend there. No more of this standing around. Let's go. Besides, he's our only lead right now. He got me there. Well, after you, Roman. America seems every time Shit. I go to America you sure it's cool if we're here hold on I'll here's wait. a question the hell you want with district 5 anyway my passport got stolen guess the thief used it as a bargaining chip to get inside huh well you're wasting your time then once something's in the Barracuda's hands getting it back is practically suicide I'm actually after the person who stole it I'm gonna catch him and ask a few questions oh that right Hey, what's the holdup? Get this thing open already. Who the fuck are they? Not just some Japanese tourists with more money than sense. So they want to see a different side of Hawaii. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Not like you've got anything to hide in there, right? Is this open what Japanese gate. people think evil white people look like? Oh, you mean like Germa? Are you implying that Japanese folks think evil white people look like Germa? Because okay. they do. Get your asses ready for a special guided tour. Oh, we got one of these in Vancouver. It's more pathetic and less scary, though. This tours a round trip situation, yeah? Don't lag behind. Unless you want to end up as a casualty. <laughs> this isn't Looney Tunes at all. This area was slated for redevelopment, but it got delayed due to a dispute over who owns the land. Still, no matter what country you're in, once something's abandoned, the homeless come knocking. This place became a shanty town in the You know what's fun? It's close to a lot of tourist attractions. We're doing so like Yakuza 1 stuff and just out. showing like but with the country may be different, the world, but the story's the mouse same. Just keeps on going. Then the Barracuda's rolled in and well, you can see how that turned out. Yeah, Hawaii is the last place I'd expect something like this. You would think, but a lot of these people come here on a one-way trip. They give their passports to the Barracudas in exchange for a stable place to live. But if they give up their passports, then how do they get back home? They don't go back home. District 5's got everything they could ever want. Shops, the hospital, cafeteria. The Barracudas have set up their own laws and infrastructure here. From the government's point of view, it's more convenient for the homeless to be under Barracuda control than to let them roam the streets. Yeah, but doesn't it cost money to use the shops and all? Where are these people getting the money? Uh, they have their ways. So, you got any leads on your passport thief? Yeah, she's a 20-something Japanese woman. Her name's Chitose, kind of hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, sure. That ought to narrow it down. Hey. Did you see a Japanese woman come through here? Goes by Chitose? Japanese? I actually might know something about that. What do you got? A few days ago, some guys got into a scuffle over in West Block. Apparently a woman showed up out of the blue. Not every day you see a little Asian cutie like her in a dump like District 5. 
Anyway, she was all by herself with nowhere to stay and didn't have a mind to bring a tent. As you can guess, the fight broke out real quick over who got dibs in that one. Huh. Who'd the gal end up staying with? Don't know. Wasn't there to see the mayhem. Best bet is to ask around West Block. <sighs> it just had to be West Block. Huh? What's West Block? A sector all the way at the ass end of District 5. A lot of bums like to drink and gamble there. Real rough crowd on a good day. You really think so? Is she gonna be okay? Actually, it's a smart move on her part. Pal up to the strongest guy on that end, and it's easy living from there on. Of course, nothing comes for free. Even in a rat hole like this. <sighs> what could he be talking about? And you seriously call yourself a cop? Anyway, West Block's waiting. Let's go. Hey. They hang right here, we'll end up in what they call West Block. From what our friend said, somebody there won the fight for Chitose. As to who? That's for you to figure what? out. Oh, what? I thought you were supposed to be our guide. I think I'm bad. People in the West Block are even worse. I try to avoid them whenever I can. Besides, <laughs> what's the trip without a few fun surprises? Fine, whatever. Oh my god, it's like fucking 10 feet, dude. I've had too much to drink. Sup? Hey there. You know a woman named Chitose? Huh? Chitose? Yeah. This guy's ah. trash, man. I haven't seen a babe like that in ages. I got knocked out real quick. Yeah, we heard about the brawl. Who came out yeah. on top? How should I know? I didn't give a rip once I lost. See, I don't have any clue, huh? Uh -huh. Alright. Can you spare some change? Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, carry you broke. Here, get yourself a cold one. Try the dude working out over there. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. Damn, look at the size of that guy. Good chance he won the battle royale. Let's see what he has to say. Sorry about the money, carry you. I'll quite. pay you back. I'll just put on my tab with the Dai Doji. Hmm, this looks like we'll have to have... A brawl. Hey, is there someone in here? Doesn't look like anybody's here. Sup? Hey, you the guy Chitose stand with? Get lost. Great, this one's a charmer Sup? too. What was that? Uh. Hi. We're looking for a woman named Chitose. You know where she could be? Who's asking? Listen, I'm sure we don't have to tell you the surviving out here is about brains over brawn. What? So what is your intuition telling you? Is fighting us the right call? What do you want to know? I'm trying to find a woman named Chitose. Fight broke out. We need to know where ah. she was. Well, then you're going to want Jose. So he's the big winner, huh? Where's his tent? Cocky attitude like that will kill you. Uh, cure your sign. Thanks, man. We were screwed. <laughs> Would have been on you. For real. You really pushed that guy's buttons. But glad we're alright. Way to keep things cool like usual, Kiryu. Just be glad he was understanding. Now let's I go find you. Jose. It's one foot away from me. Hang on. This is Chitose. Oh, wait. Buster Holmes. Never mind. Couldn't help it over here. You're looking for Jose's tent, right? Well, you know something? Jose's got everybody jealous these days. He's been courting that little lady, mm -hmm. you know. Court. He's in the tooth air thing now. He 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 hoo hoo hoo. All he does is brag about her. Keeps saying he's going to marry her and have kids the whole nine yards. So where is he then? Tent all the way at the end with the deck chair. He's quirky, huh? Thanks. So does Jose really beat that big buff dude? Just don't send him off, alright? I won't. Sure. Let's go. Who the hell are you? You Japanese? Oh shit. You're Jose, right? That's the peak male form right there. You know That's her? the peak you male form. 
you just say his girl? Look, I'm not here to mess with whatever you got going on. I just want to ask her something. So, can I see her? <laughs> Buzz off. I decide who she sees, and I say no. Come on, man, this is important. The girl stole my passport. I just want it back. I see. You're from the outside and came to steal her back, that it? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Well, you better think twice, pal. No way I'm letting that sweet little thing go. Man, what part of I just want my passport do you not get? Open your ears. I just want to ask her something and go. We're done here. Hey, boys! Get rid of these clowns. Hey, hang on. We got the police with us. They don't care. Hey, he, Roman. Roman doesn't Do care. Will you? <laughs> Roman's too busy like doing a creepy a sim a stream. Goons and some no -name foreigners. I only serve the American public, friendo. I am an American, you ass. Gosh, you're full of shit. Yeah, well, you brought this on yourselves. That's so amazing. Hey, best of luck. That's so fucking through, amazing. With the tour. Here you, son. How are you holding up? Aside from wishing I'd kept my mouth shut. Oh, man. Might help to stop asking how I'm doing every five seconds. Police Wait, you only agree? trust your fists. Police will never help Don't you. Don't worry about me. Let's just end this quick. Right. I'm oh, cool. I can do this. I can do this. Now, have at him. Guess I'll skip this shit. All right, let's go. Jose Henderson. Oh, fuck. We're fucking drunk. Oh man, this fucking music's incredible! I think I'm gonna be sick. Gotta hold it together. All right. Here we go. Hey, you good? Okay. Take this fist and shove it. Holy fuck. That's that no one in the back. Yeah, bitch. All right, Jose son. If you're really in love with Chitose, you gotta choose your words carefully. Understand? Huh? For starters, don't ever call her your girl. Not even by accident. You don't want to mess up like I did, right? Oh. Uh, sure. So, where's Chitose? Uh, well, you see, she, well, she ran off. She ran off? It was that first night. She was offering me drinks, got a little carried away, and sipped one too many. Oh, she's just the roofie queen. I've heard queen. that story before. Hey, she drugged me, okay? And wait, if that happened on the first night, then... All right, look, I didn't bang her or nothing. You happy? She was gone before I knew it. Uh, yeah, you still went around bragging like she was your property. What an asshole. Anyway... Then what? She was asking me about the Barracudas and how she could meet them and whatnot. So I told her how this to get guy to the looks underside. like he got fucking teleported well, out from Shenmue. Some There's something about his skin texture. How to get into the underside? More like I let it slip out. Yeah. Oh, idiot. Well, hold up. What's the underside? Sorry, boys. The tour's over. Just, just forget about the girl. Oh man, wouldn't that be nice? 
but we come too far. What the hell's the underside? Hey, pipe down, you moron. Look, let's just call it here. You stick your neck out any further, and the axe is gonna fall real fast. No. We can't do that. I'm taking back what's rightfully mine, and she's got some answers to give. We don't have much time. If Chitos is in this underside, then show us how to get there. Sorry, but you don't get a say in this. <laughs> Fine. But promise me one thing. From here on, no more funny business. You hear me? No. You move when I say so, and keep your mouth No, it's actually shut. gonna be hilarious. That depends on what kind of place we're going. Now, show us the way. Shit. Okay. Follow me. This is just gonna be the gambling shit underneath the homeless camp in Yakuza 1. Like it always is. Hey, Whoa! Whoa! You America! Is it really that bad? Oh, what? The scowl on my face didn't clue you in enough? Come on, let's just try to get along. You know, I'd be a lot more agreeable if you just gave up. That'd be easier, sure. But this isn't a game for us. Quit playing Is game. Right? Then at least shut up. I'll be fine. We're going down. Party of four. The boss give you the okay? Don't give me that shit. You want me to take you out of here in cuffs? This is it. A gateway to a damn near parallel universe. A uh, sewer, huh? Oh, you said parallel universe. Just stick close, smartass. Roman, what the hell do you want? Nothing. Just a bit of sightseeing. And who are they? Sightseers. What else? Okay, hold on. You even run this by the boss? Mm, yeah. Hey, do me a solid, won't you? I promise. We'll behave. You just huh. gave him ten dollars. only gets you so far. I feel like I feel like we just saw a translation issue. Didn't even give him a hundred. What the hell is this? Every time, dude. Every single time. Wait, it's the anic what? The Anaconda Shopping Center? I see. So this is the underside of District 5. It used to be an air raid shelter, built after you boys bombed our asses at Pearl Harbor. Japanese But it relevance. went untouched, and now it's just another relic of the war. <sighs> Fast forward a half century to when the Barracudas came across it. Remodeled it in no time flat. <laughs> Why'd they want to recreate a big famous mall underground now? And who the heck are all these customers? Who's doing their shopping down here? Take a closer look. Oh my god, those are some evil white people. A fashion show? Designer brand, too. She's all decked out. Uh, is she? Oh, you serious, dude? The coat itself is easily worth ten grand. And them? What are they doing? Bidding. The stuff she's wearing is the merch. 
and the audience surrounding her is the buyers. The, but, but then, why would anyone come down here just to shop? Uh, hang on a sec. Crime. Is all this stuff stolen? <laughs> I'd say stolen's putting it lightly. Everything you see here, no matter how real it looks, is a District 5 original. <gasps> made in-house. Dupes! There are knockoffs? Oh, they're more than just your average knockoffs. These are perfect replicas. Paige was explaining that knockoffs are called Patterns dupes now! Included. Crazy bastards smuggle it out of the actual factories. How? I have no idea. That is crazy. And there's people whose whole channels on TikTok are like, here's some knockoff makeup or here's some knockoff bags that'll really fool you people. Market on Earth, as well as the biggest. This is so topical! The world's biggest counterfeit market. And the buyers? They're aware of that? Of course. And not only that, but they're legitimate employees. They're the actual buyers for the department stores you know and love. They come in from the mainland, Japan, heck, all over the world. You mean everything they buy here goes up on the shelves? Yeah, the buyers pass them off as the real thing and sell it straight to the stores themselves. And the difference in price goes directly into their pockets. A single trip could net them oh hundreds of thousands God. of dollars. You'd never be able to no tell if your Jordans you were are, fake. I'm sure it's hard to resist the appeal. You'd never Maybe be able to tell. Don't have a clue. They throw money left and right without even batting an eye. The best part is, they don't even care if it's real or not. For most of these people, all that matters is that they bought an expensive brand from a famous department store. The act itself is what keeps them going. Oh my god. Uh, wait. Uh, here's a question. How'd all these people even get down here? You telling me they trudge through the sewers dressed like that? <laughs> no, they have their own special way in. Can't tell you more than that, though. Is everything in that window a counterfeit, too? Yep. They've got. Okay, hold on. So people are saying if they're using the same materials and they're using and they're making them as perfect replicas, then there's no difference in being real. No. If you if you buy, um, let's say. Uh, talking to Paige, I learned all about this, this, this designer shit, uh, is, uh, if you buy, like, a Rolex, or if you buy a fucking Louis Vuitton bag or whatever, they come with certificates of authenticity, and some of those people, some people will actually f fake certificates of authenticity, but they are, like, it's, it's got, like, a fucking, like, stamp and approval and all that shit, right? So there, and and that's where the value is, right? Because 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 women be shopping, right? The value is because they're rare designer items that are expensive, and then they go up in value over time, right? Uh, like 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 sneakers, man. Like it's oh, I got I got fucking immaculate fucking unworn jordans from so and so right but what if you could make fake jordans that looked exactly the same <gasps> and sold them as real jordans this is just steamed hams this whole fucking thing is just steamed hams A factory pumping this stuff out 24 7. it's just steamed hams I see and they're putting the homeless up top to work Bingo. The payout right sucks, but it's enough to make it by in District 5. Well, it's wild. I'll give you that. Yeah, steamed Jordans. Still, where the heck's Chitosa? No, I get this. This makes sense. I don't see her here. Well, let's dig a little deeper. This actually makes sense. High value items, most of their price comes from their rarity. And the the supply is so is, is where they limited the to increase the price. Well, looks like no one's home. I thought it's supposed to be running twenty four seven. It's all about brand. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, Roman! Hey, who got there with you? Oh, these guys? <laughs> they're 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 no one. Anyway. Oh, Roman's I, done. You shut the whole place down? Yeah. 
didn't want to stain the merchandise. Stain it? <laughs> oh, come on, man. You Bye, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Roman! Really? You really thought you could bring in outsiders? To really? The core of our operation, Vendeo. Ordinary tourists. Now start talking. Or would you rather spill your guts for real? All right. We're looking for a girl named Chitose. You ever heard of her? All right. Well, that was the wrong question. That that was the wrong question. I'm still Ask fucking drunk. Mega swing. Oh, it it locks onto the god. I see. Alright, whatever. I'll take you on. Let's grand liner this shithead. Kill those guys. Hey, Buttons the Doll raided the channel. Thank you, Buttons. Essence of Dagger, huh? Time to put you down. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, bitch. Oh, you fucking fuck! I'm bleeding! There you go, bitch. There's no way to fight. You're in it. It's over. How could you do that to carry you? Hey guys, how high do the ranks on jobs go? Is it 20? I feel like it's 20. Damn it. 99? We scram Jesus. Now. No, we keep moving. What? If oh, here, but 30 is the last the ability. Ring. Got it. Yeah, but bust down the door like that? We have no idea what's waiting for us. If we turn back now, we're not getting back in. He's right. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, fine. Right behind you. Man, I really like to uh, Tomizawa as like a, a completely normal person stuck dealing with this nonsense. Let's get it done. It's really funny. Looks like I'm up. Well. Uh. Here we go. There you go. After 30, you get permanent stat boosts. Oh, he's guarding, huh? Looks like I'm up. Let's 
Here we go. There you go. Okay. I think that's all of them. All right. No turning back now. Oh, Gotta fuck. Keep We're in a dungeon. Yeah. Glad to have you with us. Luxurious belt. I'm sorry. Is that an item? What is that? Oh, that's okay. All right, gang. Let's get in that dungeon. What? Oh, fuck. Looks like I'm up. Here we go. Take that, fuckhead. Good job, Kiryu. Man, this game is fucking incredible. Incredible. I am barely in there. Let's get it done. I am barely in there, bro. Looks like I'm up. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but those those little Tupperware things don't. They're they're not shit. I'm still in chapter five? No, I'm not, dude. I'm in chapter four. Another one in the back. I can handle anything. You seriously? Did you see that guy slide up from the fucking floor? Looks like I'm up. Got you now. Armed and ready. Here's the Oh man. Allow me. Fuck, that's brutal. Here we go. Alright guys, we're friends now. Should I open it? Yeah, let's open Got it. it. Running shoes. Hell yeah. Fine. Man. Oh, those are big bitches. So you actually made it this far, huh? Boys, we got rats. These guys look tough. What's the plan? Let him come. Doesn't change a thing. We'll take him down and push on through. I'll help you. Okay, you asked for it. I heard a gun. Let's get it done. Oh, that's a fucking shotgun. Oh my goodness. Come on. Brace yourself. Allow me. Hey, don't get caught. <laughs> Ooh. That's a bad move. Oh, fuck. Here I come. Damn it, I fucked up the timing. Here we go. Oh, who, okay. Who, who did that? All right, mostly done. F 
fuck? Doing better than I thought. Yeah! How big is this place? Sheesh. Probably pretty uh, big, motherfucker. It's me. Probably pretty big. <gasps> Kiryu! Oh no! No! <gasps> Kiryu son! Hey, you okay? Yeah. Shoot, we got company. We'll hide in there. Give him an energy drink. Where'd they go? They're gone. They've got to be in here. Find them. So far, we need a plan. <sighs> yeah, we do. Believe me, you're not the only one. <gasps> it's been a minute, Kasuka-san. How's Hawaii treating you? Damn, bitch. Chitose-san. You look fine as hell. Chitose? You mean this is her? This is the girl that tricked you and stole your I got shit? something she can steal. More importantly, she's the only person who has a connection to Akane-san. I didn't expect her to come to it's us It's come. Herself. It's- it's come. These two are new to me. Friends of yours, Kasuka-san? I'm Chitose. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, pleasure's all mine. So what are you even doing here? The surface is one thing, but this is something else. Well, I've got my reasons. But if you want the quick version, the Barracudas are after me. The Barracudas want you? The heck did you do? If I had to guess, it's because I know too much. About their counterfeiting gig? Huh? No, Akane-san. They're after her too, you know. What? They're what? Kasuga, don't you remember what Yamai said? Right. He was also looking for Akane-san. Man, what the hell? What? Is every lowlife on the island in on this? Chitose-chan, do you think you could tell us more? <laughs> sure, I can tell you. Ah, no, I dropped my controller. Ah, fuck. What are you after? What's your problem? Don't give me that look. I'm just trying to be considerate. Yeah, Tomizawa, she's probably right. Let's cool it for a bit. I'm pretty tired myself. Got it. If you say so. Hey, it looks like there's all sorts of useful stuff in here. Let me know when you're out ready to move on. Hell yeah. Oh, those energy drinks. Oh, they held me so much. <laughs> I I should save the 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 game. Uh Hey, I have a question. How long is the sequence?
Paige is asking me about Din Din's. Because she is a sweet lady, and I love her. And she is making a food. Hey there. You guys are probably tired out, aren't you? I say rest up first. We can talk to her after. Are Yakuza characters just too trusting? 42 NFL, if that bitch told you anything, you would believe it. Ah. Fine, pain in the ass, girl. Hello. Finished napping? Yes. Uh huh. I would believe it, and she's not a bitch. Oh, she's not? Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah! Right. Probably should go through things in order. I was at Akane-san's four days a week. She hired me to do housework. But about ten days ago... Actually, it's been twelve days. She up and disappeared without warning. Twelve days ago. Were there any signs you could see it coming? Nope. That day, I went to her house like always, but the door was locked and nobody was home. I thought she just stepped out to run an errand or something, but the next day and the day after, she was still gone. Did you call the police at all? No. You see, exchange students in Hawaii aren't exactly allowed to have part-time jobs. If I'd reported it, they might have figured out I was working here illegally. Meaning, when I went to the house, Akane-san was already long gone. So, wait, what were you still doing there? Kane-san never gave me my last paycheck. And it was a whole month. Oh, that worth sucks, too. dude. I went in to get it for myself. Akane-san told me where she kept the money, and also how she had a spare key under the doormat. Sure enough, that was when you showed up. If that was the case, why didn't you just tell me what happened? Right, like you would have believed me with all that? <sighs> Yeah, good point. If you reported me to the police, I'd have been screwed. That's trespassing and robbery. All things considered, I had to get you out of there. And that's why you got me wasted off my ass and dumped me on the beach? Eh, more or less. Okay, but was stripping me down really necessary? Thanks to you, my naked ass got jumped by the police. That was the plan. You'd be so caught up in trying to protect yourself, you wouldn't even have time to chase me down. Guess that's one way to do it. It didn't work. Anyway, what are you doing here in District 5? Well... Oh, what? Don't clam up now! You guys gotta promise. Not a word of this to anyone else, okay? You want us to promise? You got any idea what we've been through? Uh, right. Yeah, I agree, El Nino. Hey, I love what a whiny shit ass little bitch George Eric is. Me up, but it's got He's just walking around going, This is bullshit! Over right now, and over. Our priority is to find out what's going on. Yeah? <sighs> That's how you see it. I guess an outsider like me ought to hush up. Hey, you're anything but. Thanks, Tomizawa. All right, we promise to keep quiet. Can you tell us why you came? <sighs> okay. But remember, you don't tell anyone, got it? Got it. Don't sweat. The boss would always compliment me on how well I could keep a secret. Huh? Sure, whatever. The reason I came to District 5... It has to do with my family. Family, fam family, 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 family. Back in Japan? Do you know the name Fujinomiya at all? Yes. Uh, can't say I do. Hang on. The Fujinomiyas are major players in Japan's economy. <sighs> Figures one of you would know. If only everyone were more like Kasuga-san. Things wouldn't be so tough. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I actually have so... heard that, that name before. So I'm Wait, the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family. They just invented family. a character 
who and is a, 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 a fake member of a real family seven. that actually exists? What? This is like if a secret Trump daughter showed up to join our party. <laughs> it's so like, you're some super sheltered rich girl? Well, if you want to put oh, a Oh man, on and it. she's rich? <laughs> yeah, oh man. Basically. You know it's she true. knows how to Coming tell you your penis is disgusting. Has its perks. But in reality, and poor. We're all just a bunch of lunatics who will do whatever it takes to keep up the family name. That's a prestige thing, huh? That's not too different from the Yakuza. If you ratted me out to the police and my family found out about my part-time job, just thinking about it, I it's terrifying. Of course, I knew District 5 was dangerous coming in. But I heard that once you're inside, you can essentially disappear. Even the police can't get their hands well, on Well, I mean, you. fucking Roman is That's not getting his hands on I nobody. Got zonged, I immediately skipped over here. Word around town was that you needed a passport to get in. Oh, so the reason you took all my stuff was partly to get at my passport. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense. Watch him run a bar in the next game. That's one reckless stunt you pulled. Oh, man. Yeah, Roman just walked it I off. Was desperate. And it's not like I don't feel bad, you know? One thing I don't get. Your family's totally loaded, right? Why would anyone bother to go through all that trouble for a month's pay at a part-time job? Yeah. You folks can just wire you however much you want, right? Yeah. Here's the thought. Why do you think rich people actually get rich? So they can hoard money. No clue, actually. It's because they're stingy. Fuck yeah! I am so fucking here! I think I get why she set me up. Now we just need to figure out what the Barracudas want with her. Huh. Still more? Yeah, I got questions. Okay. <sighs> well, it's pretty clear why you set up Kasuga. Next, let's hear about why the Barracudas are out to get you. I'm sure there's a story there. Okay, so apparently it's rare for someone like me to turn up around here. Soon as I entered District 5, they took me straight to the guy in charge. Wait, wait. You mean the Barracuda's boss? Yeah. And after we talked, he seemed to take a liking to me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't look too unhappy about it. What then? Well, then the boss decided to keep me at his hideout. And by keep, you mean... Look, I'm sure you can piece it together for yourself. Anything was better than having my family find out. At least that's what I told myself. But it was kind of a bust. He never even made a move. I mean, maybe he's just been stressed out or something. <laughs> the hell do I say to that? They gave me a room and everything, but I was bored out of my mind in there. They told me not to leave the room, but I snuck out and explored a bit anyway. Next thing you know, I find this in the boss's study. Rut row. That's Akane san. There's all kinds of info about her on here. Dress, phone number, height, facial features. Ew, hey, wait a wait a second. Yamai had this too. Right. He's after her, same as these guys. What's it all mean? Why are all these gangsters chasing after Akane san? I don't know. But it's worth noting I found this in the trash. Probably means he doesn't need this anymore, right? More than that, couldn't it mean the Barracudas actually got to her? <gasps> With that in mind, I thought there might be a chance they were holding her somewhere nearby. That's why I started snooping around all their factories and stuff. But a bunch of lackeys caught on to me, and now I've been branded some kind of traitor. <sighs> Long story short... Talk about reckless. Really, I'm just glad I was able to meet up with you guys. You're on the run too, right? Why not team up? I'll show you the way out of here. And in exchange, you guys will be my bodyguards. Sound good? 
Man, this girl is just emanating just absolute piece of shit rich girl energy, and I'm here for it. I'm with you. The Barracuda's boss and I got a score to settle. And I say it's time. All the more so. Now that Roman is dead. Here you, son. It's your call. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Chitose chan. Can you show us the way? But not the way out. I want to see the boss man first. What? Did you hear a word I said? No. What? You want to take the scenic route for this guy? No. Actually, I'm choosing this for myself. Akane san might be my flesh and blood mom. And I'm not going to abandon her. Simple as that. And if you're too scared to go back, could you at least point us in the right direction? Are you serious about this? Yeah. Truth be told, I'm worried about Akane-san too. If she hadn't hired me, I'd probably be face down in a gutter somewhere. Then... That said, there's no point in rushing to our deaths. If things get dangerous, we bail. Okay? Okay. Counting on you, Chi-chan. I'm sorry. What? Chi-chan. It's a nickname. <sighs> You've never had a girlfriend, have you? Wait. How'd you know that? <laughs> never mind. Let's do it, Ichiban. Okay. Follow me. Damn. Damn. Kasuga. Hey, don't sweat it. I told you. I'm doing this one for me. Mind lending a hand? Right. Thanks. I'm doing better. I willed the cancer Don't back into submission. Don't you mean remission, Kiryu? No. Now give me that banana. up Chichan. oh he's using the move he's using the move no I got this lady no you just you you stand back there stand back Chichan. my mind is such a gentleman fortunately I'm not the damsel in distress type you're gonna fight too pretty quick trust me I won't hold you back I wonder what her starting class is. I'll bury you. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, that's some kind of. Don't get caught. Are you getting scared? Was that? Oh, sure that's um, Aikido. Something wrong. You're in it now. Ah, hurry up and go. Ballet. Oh, it's ballet. It's ballet. Let's go. That's Menos pose. Let's get it done. Allow me. Not sure taking your time. Get him, Tomizawa. Wow, I got the levels like pretty good.
damn it. Don't think you're getting out of here alive. So what's her 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 weapon then? I just realized that Kiryu doesn't use a weapon either. What the hell? Flip the security system. Looks like those lasers mean business. Keep pushing through. Just careful not to touch them, alright? Pay close attention to how they're moving. Gotta time it just right. Yeah! Full party! A caller? Okay. The, the two lethal weapons that are never let you down. <laughs> I am, uh, I am required at the home for some dad activities, if you'll excuse me.
go. Let's go.
Let's go. Oh, I feel like I just came back from a war. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Parents have to fight a lot of battles. This shit with the lasers. Oh my god. Oh, they don't care about the lasers. Oh, okay. Fine. Slipping up like that, and you're done. For. Oh, 30 Can't HP. Oh, who step. gives a shit? Figure out the timing, then dash through all at once. Oh, fuck. Oh, but I can't actually. I did it. The hell do you want? Well, hold on a sec. All right, fuck these guys. Yeah, America. Okay, I'm up. You're in it now. I passed a million items. I got every item. You shut up. That was tougher. Those prompts were tougher than I expected. Let's get it done. Something wrong. Get him, Tommy. No, I got every item. Spawn as I left. Okay, now now you're not even trying anymore. You're not even trying. Holy shit! What you looking at? Get 
ready for this. Right, yeah? Go. Get ready for what? Oh, I heard a fucking okay. gun, dude. Spill the tea! Hell yeah. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Your works. Looks like I'm up. Yeah, let's get it. Allow me. Take Oh fuck. Damn, bro. Hey. I'm even stronger now. Good job, buddy. Oh my god, this item better be fucking balls out worthless. Oh now the first try! Sweet. Cyber chunk. I uh Oh it sucks. In a fight, right? Yeah, she could take on my penis in a fight. Yeah, okay, sure. What you looking at? What's up? I'll take you down. Show me what you got. Okay, I'm up. Stricken with fear. Here we go. Don't get caught. All right. Something wrong. Gotcha. Do your worst. Let's get it done. Do your worst. I'll take you on. Do your worst. Tomizawa, looks like this might be up to you, except Kiryu's got it. I can't believe he's picking up like a 200, 300 pound guy with one hand. But that's just the power of beast style, I suppose. Oh, whose weapon is that, dude? That's no one's weapon? Is her fucking class princess? Made it out okay. Looks like we can take a break here. Eris? Oh man. I have so many things that I could say right now. And I'm not gonna say them. I might say some of them. Hey, we're back at the shopping center. 
What happened to you taking us to the Barracuda's hideout? What do you mean, what happened? See that runway? Keep going past that, and there's an elevator that leads right to it. It's over there? Looks like it's deserted. We've got a clear shot. Oh. Well, okay then. Well, this area is huge. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. On the runway? Why? <laughs> a warm welcome to our is that Kimbo event. Slice? Now let's get this show on the road. First up, we got an all-access look at our newest collection. And it's not just hot. It's to die. Oh, also, Kimbo's dead. You assholes call this a fashion I just show? remembered. I'm not sorry, Kimbo. Turn heads. But I'll be happy to oblige. Let's get a shot. Something Turn it on. Ready when you are. Here we go. Looks like I'm up. Oh, shit. Good one, Tomizawa. Up next, a special treat just for you. Our prize, Autumn Winter Line. Fuck. White. Okay, I'm up. Oh, man. Be careful. Oh, they're fast. Shit. It's these guys. And him! Showtime's over, boys and girls. Say your prayers. Okay. Prepare yourself. You're all mine. Damn it. Can't do it because they're too strong. Damn that move. Oh, that one got charmed. Fuck yeah. No way. Time to put you down. Do it. Alright. You're in it now. Well, wow, that moves great. Yo! 
Wow! Having them bounce each other into each other is incredible. Holy <laughs> shit. On to the next level. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Get in. So, where does this thing go? You'll see when we get there. Is it going to go up or down? That's the question. Looks like it goes up. Where are we? This is Crystal Aloha. Crystal Aloha? Crystal Aloha Resort Hotel. It's the swankiest hotel in Hawaii. What? <laughs> Crazy, right? This hotel's been top of its class for a hundred years. There's over 500 guest rooms. And the top floor's got views of the whole beach, all the way up to Diamond Head. It's practically the face this of Hawaii. This is the part where I Ooh, say, trip. now the jeans that here, would lead all that the way Chitose up has... Here. And Chitose first, has absolute, complete you piece of the shit, down there, right? toxic the ones who are all dressed female up. energy. There you go. And then Jean will go, down there. that reminds me of my oh, ex-girlfriend so that I had in Hawaii. So does the Barracuda's head honcho live here then? Yeah, he's got the whole top floor rented out as his own personal palace. And that's not even half of it. He keeps all of his top dogs up here too. If they're holding Akane-san captive, this is where we'll find her. This elevator only goes up to here, though. You mean we gotta switch to another elevator? Right. There's a guest elevator just outside. This hotel made over 5,000 native Hawaiians Follow homeless. Me. Shockingly, she doesn't remind you of anyone. This Darn, I did my best. Hey, it's them. The guys who are stirring up shit underground. <sighs> Seriously? Busted so wait, already? this is an evil I know, hotel. I know, fuck that. Don't let any of these assholes leave. And it's a real evil Y'all hotel. around them. Let's break through. We're gonna beat your ass. Bring it on. Good choice for a location. Okay. What the fuck? Don't get caught. Uh. Uh. Are you getting scared? Bring it on. Let's get it done. Now then. Uh. Uh. Allow me. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. Good, good one, Tommy. You're in it now. Okay, I'm up. Why the fuck's that guy have a flamethrower? Which hotel is it supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be the same hotel that it says it is. The Crystal Aloha Hotel. All right, come with me. Tommy reminds me of every sneaky Japanese piece of shit I know. Jesus Christ, Gene. <laughs> this is where you would use one of Wooly's emotes to clarify that statement. Oh, hold up! What the look off your mouth? Show me what you got. <laughs> okay, I'm up. Let's get it done. Oh fuck yeah. Come on. 
take this, Andrew. Oh, I'm just realizing sometimes I'm getting upgrades such as movement range increased. Ooh, that's an upgrade I didn't expect to see. There's an elevator just past here. We can take that up to the 15th floor. Okay, we're right behind you, Chichan. Hey, do you really not have any doubts? I don't know what a doubt no, is. What? Everything I'm I have telling you. brain damage. Who knows? Maybe I'm following the boss's orders and leading you right into a trap. That ever cross your mind? No. I told you he was keeping me in his room, remember? I mean, think about it. I ripped you off once already. For all you know, the elevator's packed with a bunch of dudes with machine guns or something. Well, we'll go from there then. I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm serious. I made the decision to trust you after all. That bites me in the ass, so what? Oh my god, I love him so much. I love, I love this character. <sighs> What's up, Chichan? Sorry, I made a wrong turn. Huh? This whole area kind of runs together, so. Was I made this a the trap elevator? We need to go this way. Hurry. Uh, right. And then she was like, oh. Hey, this is just a dead end. Don't tell me you're lost. So you think, right? Now get a load of this. How could you possibly have gotten that confused? secret passage? Between this and all those lasers underground, the Barracudas must really want to keep people out. You have to if you want to survive in Hawaii's underworld. In we go. Hey guys. Dude, one of those guys sounded just like Muscle Man. Okay, I'm up. What? Your mom. Here we go. Bitch. Looks like I'm up. What's the hold up? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, fuck that chair up. Guys, I feel like the turn-based use of the environmental objects is actually more effective and easier to use than the fucking action game version. Like, I can more consistently and easily just get the thing I want. Oh, it's the velvet room filled with gas! Whoa. What the hell? Oh, shit! They're trying to gas us! Guess they're not messing around. Casca, can't stay here you. long. Let's make it quick. We've been poisoned. Damn it. If it's standing, it's still wearing me out. Right. We send these assholes packing, then make a run for it. <laughs> Look at this little piss baby. Yo, that dude just called me a fucking piss baby. Are you getting scared? I'll take you on. Go on the floor with this house. Oh, so they listen to the podcast? That's very funny. That's really funny, dude. 
Oh, what damn it. There's no way. That is fun. You're dead meat! I'm just not feeling it. Oh, he's afraid now. Hold it together. Sure, I'll play with you. Oh, we'll see, I guess. Take that, bitch. I wonder what the fear thing actually does. Let's make this quick. Think you can handle this? Oh, it's a stun? Oh, that's good. Oh, there's energy drinks. Oh, a moldy burger. Oh, yeah. Keep dragging it along and you're good as dead. Fuck yeah, moldy burger. That'd be my wrestling name. I can keep going. I'm just not feeling it. Something wrong. Oh, he's done. This sucks. There's an XP boosting accessory in this room. Are you actually for real with me right now? What? Brace yourself. Get lost. Oh, damn it. There's no way. Sure, I'll play with you. There's no way to fight. God damn it. Well, before I leave the room, I'll make sure to get it. Sorry if I messed this up. Gotta hold it together. God damn. Sorry to drag my feet. I barely stand. Got you now. Here we go. All right, go. Save key. Value pack insoles. So as long as I don't relieve this room. Oh, wait, can I go in there and then just immediately come back in? Can I, can I do that? Yes, good. Looks like the gas hasn't made it this far. Good. I thought I was gonna die. Where the hell's Lida? Where did, where is it? Wait, I have two? Cool. I really appreciate them telling me that, that I'm about to have a big fucking fight. Should I open it? Got it. A baseball cap. Hell yeah. Carry you. You don't have to wear your helmet anymore. You can wear a cap. Let's do it. Let's go say hi to Danny Trejo. This is the door to the boss's suite. There's a good chance he'll be inside. Oh my God. The shots, huh? Must be a real okay, you motherfuckers. Let's make sure we're good and ready. Before do you remember when in. I said, do you remember when I fucking said that this was just the Yakuza one underneath fucking homeless park? 
shit. No need to slow down okay, now. this is the same fucking hallway that Hanaya, aka the florist, used to live at the end of. Wait, you are right? Yes, I know. I know what I am talking about with these games. This is ballin', man. Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. What's funny is until last century, this place was nothing but a taro field, far as the eye could see. Yeah! Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields, brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy ass resort built for some fancy ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors, from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fate can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Dude, what an incredible cast. For oh, man. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country prosper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got guts betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's study? <gasps> that was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Kasuka. It was right as you barged in. <coughs> so I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger or a trap or something. That, I, um, I meant it. <gasps> what? She did, and it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here, face to face with yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? Because he's so stupid. Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. Oh. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive, even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? Who gives? Dios mío. Who would have thought? A Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker. You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew you were just another spoiled brat. Damn. I figured I could use you. So I kept you around. <laughs> I could kill Kashika and the others anytime. But I drew you in for one simple reason. 
their death would have been on you. And few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No. <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. You bastard! Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. She was Here mean as fuck to you. Buy. What are you talking about? You sure you're not mad? <clears throat> what for? I made the choice to trust you, remember? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> you really are an oh. know that. All right, enough chit chat. Hey, oh, on. I just realized I still got unfinished what he's business. going to attack us with. Dwight, remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it, even though they had next to no evidence. Oh, you were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. <laughs> I love it. You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? Dwight, <laughs> there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll oh. do for you is offer you a way out. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle. Not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's yeah. time I showed you what this blade of mine can do. Ready to bleed? man so somebody in the in the chat said uh man danny trejo has been typecast to shit but he's so good at it so danny trejo has played like literally nothing but a terrifying criminal murdering like mexican guys and um it's really important to point out that the reason why that is is because that's who he used to be before he became an actor. He was a career criminal and he got pinched and he did like 10 years in jail. And he was like, I gotta fucking do, do a different fucking line of work. This sucks. He was, yeah, he was a cartel guy. Not bad. Uh, aha, got one! <clears throat> Good job, Sanchez, thank you. I won't take that. It's over! One down. That's picking time! Oh shit. Woo! Not bad. I have seen Machete. Cool movie. Well, we're terrified of him. Sure, I'll play. 
It's just these two. Get him, boys. Hey, you good? All right. Take this fist. And shove it. Oh, he's pretty tough. Let's what get it did? done. Well, I'm waiting. What? Here's the one. Hey, you French pound me. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Delivery. Waiting. Yeah! Been looking forward to this one. Hey, yeah. Looks like I'm up. Come on. He's Here weak to water. Holy shit. Yeah! Good job, Charlie. Take a seat, Dwight. Is Akane-san here or not? All right, all right. I'll be straight with you. We were looking for her, but she never showed up. If you don't believe me, feel free to search the whole floor. What do the Barracudas want with her? Honestly, I don't know. You're looking for her and don't even know why? It's not up to us. We got a request to look for her. We're just doing what we were asked. Huh. Request? Request from who? I don't know that either. They reached out to us anonymously. Sent it directly to my address. Seriously, info like that doesn't leak easily. And they sent a million dollars down payment. Well then. If we succeed, we would have another nine million coming our way. That's ten million. Just to find some woman. <laughs> sure. It was shady, but who would pass on that? 
Nobody. You don't know anything else? About Akane-san? About who the hell's chasing after her? If I knew any more, I would have told you already. Ain't that something? That's the most real thing you've said all day. I assume that about does it for all your Akane-san business, Kasuga? Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's my turn. Hell yeah! <laughs> no, let him kill him. Let him. You give me a yes or a no. That crime I got locked up for. Was that you? Both the setup and bringing in a fall guy? It was your call? Answer me! Okay, okay! Yes, damn it! All right. So it was you. Do you have any idea how bad you fucked me over? And not just me! <sighs> wait, wait, stop, stop, wait, wait! Roman might be gone, but I can still wipe your criminal record easy! Just say the word! And I got money. That's... A million. No, 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 ten million dollars! Oh, okay, okay. Hey, that'll give you a clean slate. And then some! You'll be set for life! Like hell I will! You think money's ever gonna bring my kid back? You think money's ever gonna bring you back? Never here. You got it? If you can promise me that, you're free to go. Well, it's your call! Oh, okay, okay, it's a deal. I'll get rid of everything, and I won't tell anyone either. I swear it, I swear! All right. Just now. If you ever go back on your word, I'll put this thing right between your eyes. Oh, yeah. And this lovely little number here goes viral. That's my promise. Well... I think that about wraps things up. Let's roll. You good now, Tomizawa? No. Honestly, I'd love to see him fry. But that it means sinking to his level. Plus, it's not like taking him out, it's spelled the end of the Barracudas. We don't know who might leak info about Chitose, right? Better to leave him alive. Keep everyone else in line. Why do this for me? Because, believe it or not, you saved my life too. <laughs> I may not get why, but you still betrayed Dwight and led us right to him on top of it. We wouldn't be here without you. So, how about we call it even? Between you and Ichiban, I had enough debt as it was. I figured I'd strike one off the list. <laughs> when the hell do you get so cool, Tommy? Yeah! <laughs> I've always been cool, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> I am here also. Dude, the achievement thing just showed up in the dead-ass center of the screen. That's so fucking weird. Suspicious minds. Huh. Pretty cool how we ended up here after going through a dump like District 5. Would I take Treo's offer? How can you be no. so chill? 
We nearly got chopped up by the Barracuda's boss with next to nothing to show for it. Only one who got any business done was me. Yeah, but ain't that worth it? A win for you is a win for the team. God damn it, I love you, man! Our team just grew by one. I want to kiss you on the mouth! Hello, everyone. Yeah, you got a funny definition of teamwork. Oh, is that how it's gonna be? I helped you in the end, didn't I? Yeah, and because of that, we're still breathing. You did us a solid there. My pleasure. It's nice to meet someone so open-minded. I'd say Tommy here has his work cut out for him. Damn it, each one. You'll pal around with just about anyone, won't you? She did risk her life to save ours, even if it didn't start out that way. Besides, we want to find Akane-san. We'll need all the help we can get. Sounds like you're in my corner, then. Sure you won't ditch me the moment you find her? <laughs> I should hope not. Personally, I don't mind a loose cannon, as long as they're on my side. I suppose I should take that as a compliment. Ah, fine. I guess if anyone's guilty of anything, it's me. Yeah. I even held a gun at Ichiban. Yeah, you point. did do that. <laughs> See? Even backstabbers like us can come around. Yeah, that said, it still doesn't mean I have to trust you. Or like you. Uh, why not? I like you, Tomy. Yeah, sure. You gotta be hiding something. And I'm gonna find out what. I can smell a secret from a mile away. Oh, come on. The girl's gotta have at least one good secret. Or two. Here, oh, why don't we just start over? Okay. But I'll be watching. One slip up, and it's over. Watch me all you want. It looks like mine. I'm used to it. Ooh, she got you good. How do you like that burn, Tommy? Yeah, 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 screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that settles it. Chichan, you're one of the gang. Good to have you. Good to be here. Don't tell me I'm supposed to make a speech now. <clears throat> The name's Chitose Fujinomiya. There. Yay! Uncle Scrafty says these are grown-ass teenagers. Yeah, they're 45 to 65-year-old teenagers. Kasuga-san. Hey, that reminds me. You can have this back. Money! Thanks. Oh, wow. Forgot about that. Thanks. Nah, that's something you gotta thank me. Honestly, you're way too nice. Okay. We did get everything we needed to do. Gotta get new plan going. Sure, how about we go over everything we know? Alright, instead of standing here, let's go relax. How about Revolve? Huh? Revolve? Yeah, it's a bar in Little Japan. It's our hideout. Oh, now I got Chitose's shit on the, on the map. Oh! Look at this fucking map. Oh my god. Oh, it's all popping now. Hey. I can go in. hey, Ichiban, do you use coconut oil? I will. I'll hey. You, okay, I'm up. We're talking to people here, motherfuckers. Let's get it done. What? I won't hold back. Time to take out the trash. Looks like I'm up. Got it. Follow my lead. 
gotcha. Oh, fuck, that rules so much, dude. Hero's Blessing. Before we move off topic here, hey, Ichiban, do you use coconut oil? I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, well, that shop over there has the best stuff. Makes your skin silky smooth. You should give it a try while you're still here. It's like magic. Not sure an old guy like me needs to worry about silky smooth skin at this point. No way. Taking care of yourself is always important. A well-kept man oh. is attractive. No kid. Hmm. Guess having softer skin would be nice. Yep. Better than going soft in the head. All right. She likes coconut oil. Guys, I think this game is really big. This is one of them big old video games. Okay, I every time I stream this, I add another mechanic that you're not going to see all of it on stream. Like these conversations. Usually there's a huge music festival held here every year. But recently, they keep getting canceled due to storms. Oh, what a bummer. Would you call yourself a music lover, Tommy? I mean, who doesn't like music? Mostly, I'm a fan of that festival atmosphere. Loud songs play nonstop while you get down with your favorite drink. That's fun, because it feels so free. Man, I can't wait to go again. Well, in that case, we'll just have to beat the rain with the power of some Teru Teru Bozu. Teru Teru did what, what now? It's like a voodoo doll, but for weather. The secret weapon to controlling the skies. Oh, we're making voodoo dolls and weapons now. We're really opening up. He likes music festivals. All right. To survive bar. Or revolve. Yeah, Dachi's like damn near 70. He's the oldest party member. By a huge fucking margin. Hmm. Do I have any chance of unlocking jobs? It took an entire organization to gather this. Like in the next really hour? It was a birth date and an address. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. Kiryu-san, I thought that agency was all... 007, like with spies and stuff. Shouldn't they be able to write the entire books on someone? Yeah, what gives? Could be she's harder to track as a member of the general public. Whereas if she kept a higher profile, there'd be no shortage of news coming in. Ah, Everyone point. in this room should kiss. Itose, it can be the tiniest detail. But if you know anything that's not on here, we need to know too. Actually, one thing does come to mind. Oh yeah? What is it? None of this says anything about her career. What was her career? Her career? Yeah. Kane-san's the director of an orphanage. She's been there, like, forever. No kidding. Well, Captain Sawashiro never mentioned anything like that. Maybe he didn't know either. I haven't been to the place in person, but I do know where it is, if you're interested. You bet I'm interested. That orphanage might have the clues we need. Agreed. Kiryu's dad there. ran an orphanage. Ichi's mom runs an orphanage. Getting late, so let's try the orphanage tomorrow. Still, a bit early to hit the hay. Could wander around a little bit. Huh? Tommy's drinking by himself. Haven't really had much time to chat. Maybe I should talk to him. That's a wide stance, Tommy. Getting your balls out. Yo, tell me. Mind if I join you? I was just hoping for a drinking partner. Ha, ah, then I'm your man. Dude, Paige makes fun of me every time I'm walking, and I gotta unstick my fucking balls from my leg. Whoa. Some days it really hits the spot. They stick, man. You much of a drinker, usually? Kinda. Except when I came to Hawaii. I got so wasted, my clothes were stolen. Hard to claim I can hold my liquor after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why? What about you? 
I've cut back lately. Uh, a while ago, I was going way too hard. Yeah, trying to forget. Oh, forget about Marie, you mean? Yeah, more or less. As somebody who has a kid yeah, now, but, I can't know, imagine hey, how angry. Time heals all wounds, is what they always be. say. Even being Over stripped bare assed in public. You know, you'll laugh about it in a few years. <laughs> As time healed your wounds? As time really healed those wounds, though? They seem pretty deep. <sighs> Sometimes I think it has. Other times, I still feel tender. The Barracudas ruin way more lives than just mine and Marie's, you know? I mean, that frame job scam was old hat by the time they got me. It's just... Hard to imagine anyone else took it at their happiest moment. You know, like I did girl I loved was having my kid. I ought to give it anything for one more day with her. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. Eh, don't be an idiot. I'm always thinking about it anyway. So the night that Marie and I first met? Oh, you want to talk about this? Do you mind? It's been a long time since I told this story. Let me get through this. Well, I'm happy to listen, I guess, if, if you're okay. Oh, I can't believe it was over a decade ago. Ugh, means I've been cabbing that long, too. Back then, I'd spend my nights at clubs, picking up girls, which, of course, went nowhere, usually. Usually? <laughs> but that word's doing some heavy lifting. <laughs> Do you want to hear my story or not? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> sorry. One night, I hit on this girl with a boyfriend. I wouldn't normally do that, but I was dead drunk. And the boyfriend, like... He's this massive pro wrestler. And then you were just like, I'm just a little he guy. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little birthday boy. The shit out of me so bad, I thought I might actually die. That's the worst pickup story ever. Does Marie really show up in it? Stop interrupting. I'll get there. So I'm lying in the alley, hurling out my guts. And then this woman finds me. And cleans me up. Like an angel. Marie happened to be there that night with one of her co-workers. And we'd never seen one another before. But there she was. Caring for a total stranger. Staying in her nice clothes with my blood. Wow, well, that's something special. Yeah. Probably the worst that's night really of my romantic. life. That's really romantic. Before she made it the best. Sure as hell I made a move on her. I mean, how could I let someone like that slip away? But right. You no, know, it's funny. You know, I say it's the best night of my life, but down the road, it's what ends up ruining hers. Wow, Tommy. When we found out she was pregnant, she quit her job. Six months later, I was in prison. All because a scumbag like me couldn't let her go. She could have had so much better. She doesn't think that. Marie wouldn't see it that way, I'm sure. <laughs> I appreciate you saying so, but there's no way to find out. Hey, Tommy, do you ever think about trying to locate her? You said she would visit you, right? In the beginning, at least? Of course I tried looking for her. First thing I did, and no luck. When I got back to our home, everything of hers was gone. Not a trace left behind. Don't follow me. Doesn't get much clearer. <sighs> I left. This amazing woman to suffer all on her own. She'd lost a child. Whatever the circumstances might have been. You can't go on with someone after that. You know what? I'm a pretty bad judge of character. Huh? Why, why, why you say that? <laughs> the first time we met, you pulled a gun on me, remember? If you asked me then, I'd have said you were nothing more than a petty crook. But now, listening to you... I think everybody's carrying something you can't see right away. Everybody out there. <laughs> I, I'd almost forgotten about sticking you up. Did I ever apologize to you for that? It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, no. Some things do matter. Huh? I am sorry for the way we met each other. Oh. Well, you're forgiven. If you buy the next round. Let bygones be. 
I just don't rob anybody else either. <laughs> I'll do my best. This is so, like, genuine and sweet and bittersweet. Nice to mellow out with a drink once in a while. What are you doing tonight? Getting late and you look drunk, so sleep it off. You don't mind? Not at all. You're free to make yourself Thanks. at home. I owe you one. Uh, Hello. Hey. What's going on in the bathroom, do? Oh, it's just there to be fancy. Chitosa has a song? Yeah, I know. I'm going to bed. Reminisce. Oh, cool. There's something in the toilet? <sighs> Silly me. Ethereal Agesta. One must plumb the darkest depths of society to discover this mysterious excretion. Can be used to craft. Can't tell if that was worth it or not. Ah, no point overthinking it. God damn itchy. What's back here? Oh, cool. Feels like I'm really there in Hawaii. I did see Virgil's chair. All right, let's head to the orphanage. But first... Drinks later. So wait, is the orphanage first? That's not the orphanage. There's no, you can't have an orphanage in the middle of town. That's not allowed. The, the orphans will just roam around and and get hit by cars. What's Hero's Blessing? Oh, that's a goddamn good one. I won't take that. Yeah, that's right. If I unlock job switching and don't stream this again until next Tuesday, I'm gonna be buff as shit when we come back next week. Let's see what this is. Yo, let's do that thing. Right off. Watch where you're looking. You might get hurt. Oh, we throw our weapons. That's good. I could take on anything. I got some for you to take on. Hey, Chichon. Yeah. What kind of person is Akane-san, anyway? <laughs> Why my do you fucking ask? dick. Oh, oh, got her. You know, no matter what I feel about her, Akane-san meant the world to my boss. And when it comes to him, well, 
He was everything I ever wanted to be. So, I guess I'm just curious what he saw in her. Outer Yevon asks, okay. would you recommend this game to newcomers? I would recommend it seven and then this. That way you can get your first impression directly. The last thing I want to do is put thoughts in your head. Is that how it works? That's how it works. Must be nice, though. What is? Wanting to see your mom, despite not knowing how to feel. That's more than I could ever say about mine, let alone my whole family. That right. Oh, hey, I think we're here. Kind of expected it to be on fire. Oh, check it out. It's the flame of Palikana. Palikana? Yeah, you know, yeah, they're a volunteer group. You'll see them all over Hawaii. You mean a fucking Doing cult? Kitchens, picking up trash at the beach. It's real charity stuff. Huh. Never knew you'd be interested in volunteering. Oh, I would know. Because I showed up at their food bank one time. Really? Yeah. They gather unsold food from all the local stores and they divvy it out to the people who need it the most. Tell me, you help feed the poor? I'm impressed. Nah, man, I was there getting fed. Ah, I should have known. Excuse me, can I help you folks with anything? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yes, actually. Uh, we're here to ask about a lady named Akane. Uh, is she all right? Did you find her? Well, God damn it. You're orphans! We're orphans because we got no parents! Sorry for the outburst there. I had assumed you were with the police. No need to apologize, ma'am. If anything, I'm sorry I got your hopes up. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Dana, one of the caretakers. I've been working with Akane 20 years now. That's a long time. Yes. And for her to disappear so suddenly, it's just... Unheard of, right? When'd she up and disappear? As of now, uh, it's been 13 days. All she left was a single note behind, and that was it. 13 days. That lines up with what Chichan said. Yeah. Dana, what'd the note say? I resign due to unforeseen circumstances. Well, that's incredibly Nothing unclear. More. Akane's always been so responsible. I immediately thought that couldn't be right. But the handwriting was definitely hers. Did you report anything to the police? Of course. But after the handwriting analysis confirmed the note was hers, they dropped the case. We couldn't get them to look into it any further. I'm sure you've been asked this a bunch of times already, but do you have any idea where she might have gone? Unfortunately, I don't. All right. Miss Dana, you won't believe it! Yeah, the tomatoes we planted turned out huge! Oh, wow, I see that. Why don't you share some with our guests? Okay! okay. Huh. Here you go. Wow, thanks. It looks delicious. Eat it like an apple. We grow them in the garden ourselves. Huh. Um, who are they? Eat it like a fucking apple. Oh, uh, they're friends. Oh, of shit. Musica I gotta go. I'll be right back. It's, it's fine, though. It's actually just dinner time. I realized that sounded, like, really threatening or, like, worrying. But, like, no, Paige just messaged me that my but dinner is ready.
What the fuck did no Brev say? I walk back in to just see no Brev get fucking timed out. By the way, just to let you guys know, Paige made me a wonderful chicken dinner. I'm going to eat this. Wait, shit, shit, don't skip the fucking... I hate, dude, I hate it. When you click in on a cutscene and it goes, do you want to skip it? I'm like, no. No, I don't want to fucking skip it. Connie's. Really? Does that mean Mr. Connie's coming back? Nah, she's, <sighs> she's probably going to be dead. That's still going to take some time. Oh, how long? I really want to see her again. She I has like zero chance of getting out of this fucking game alive. Hey, I know. Why don't you go fetch a watermelon too? Uh. Find the biggest one you can. On it. <laughs> they really care about her, don't they? Yes. Akane was the closest thing to a mother these kids ever had. In fact, she may have raised over a hundred kids during her time as director. That's why people often tell her she has the biggest family on the island. That's a lot of love there. Oh, yes. She's been here 40 years, after all. 40 years? That would mean she started working here not long after leaving Japan. Right. Which is around when Captain Sawashiro met her. Did she choose to stay in Hawaii for the kids? Dana, how much do you know about Akane-san's past? Uh... Her past? Well, nothing. She wasn't one to talk about herself. <sighs> Did she ever have problems with people, or seem like she was in trouble? I certainly can't imagine her having enemies. No one abided by the teachings more than she did. The teachings? The beliefs Palekana holds sacred. Fuck yeah, culture! You may not know this, but fundamentally we operate as a religion. Really? I always thought Polycana was a charity organization. Charity is a key part of what we do, but our roots as a religion trace back hundreds of years on these islands. Whoa, so you guys got a lot of history then. I'd like to think so. Polycana centers its worship on Nele, a volcano goddess. Hmm. Volcanoes, huh? That's definitely something Hawaii is known for. Indeed. Volcanic activity has also shaped the fabric of our lives, especially in ages past. On one hand, volcanoes are a symbol of fear and destruction. But on the other, they represent balance and restoration. I think it's only natural to see a spark of the divine in such an awe-inspiring presence. Okay, so I remember hearing about this. All of the religious stuff about Hawaii is all completely made up. It just kind of emulates existing stuff so that they don't make anybody upset that they use their fucking religion as the villain. Right. That's similar to Japan's early volcano worship, too. I guess it's universal. Seeing something awesome in nature and being inspired. Yes, and that's why we strive to coexist with nature, so that Nele might look down on us with peace. Were we to abuse her gifts of fire in the land we call home, we would surely invite destruction. Uh-huh. I'm assuming that's why Palikana has the flame logo going on? That's right. Fire is a very sacred element among us. As a reminder of our faith, we always keep a fire lit taking care not to let it burn out. Now that you mention it, I remember Akane-san had an LED candle in her bedroom. Was that a part of her faith? <laughs> I'm sure she was just being careful for a woman of her age living alone. Besides, the candle itself is only a representation. What really matters is how you tend the fire in your heart. A sacred element, huh? I is that why the kids took it slow around the candles? 
So you noticed. They're taught to protect the flame from when they're little. Oh. Actually, I was wondering, why do you guys run an orphanage? That's based on another belief of ours. As a religion grounded in nature, we feel called to Children treat the burn land clean. and those who it's live like, in uh, it with compassion. Like Doing diesel. so will help the community grow and bring our hearts closer as one. And helping kids grow is a part of that. I'm impressed. We also run several other facilities, including a homeless shelter and transitional housing for families. You know, the one time I went to a Policana food bank, it, it was real nice. Yeah, no, they just fed me without any preaching at all. <laughs> well, we're not in the business of preaching. So, you have for nothing in return. <laughs> Kudos to whoever's in charge. The children here seem like believers, though. Well, it's not like we indoctrinate them. We hope that by exemplifying the teachings in our daily lives, the children might see our faith in action and believe. And in that regard, Akane was unmatched. Everyone admired her for her spirit. Huh. So she was a woman of faith. Yes. And there wasn't a selfish bone in her body. All she wanted was to help the weak and less fortunate. That's what drew so many to her. And why I have a hard time. So, one of the details that I'm noticing here, somebody points out that um, this uh, is a light and flame religion, um, which f fits into like a, a, a sunflower, uh, if it was in Japan. Um, but, <clears throat> so here they're like, we never preach for the children to become part of... Uh, uh, of our of our flame religion, never they just end up that way. Much like um, Kazuma's orphanage was like, kids, you don't have to join the yakuza. It's just the coolest thing you could ever do. Time believing she had enemies and for her to just leave without a word of goodbye is just bizarre <sighs> dang <sighs> guess they don't know much more than we do all right dana we've grabbed all we can so i'm gonna haul this over to the food bank hey thanks callan any chance we can throw in some meat or fish to go with it? I wish, but I don't see any fishermen or butchers around here. Think we're good to go with what we got? Well, I guess this'll just have to do then. Mind if I ask what's going on? Oh, well, today it's our turn to donate to the food bank. We always have plenty of vegetables, but I'd prefer to offer a full range of nutrition. Akane was always the one to call up stores, and they'd bring us more than enough. But since she went missing, the donations stopped coming in. To be honest, I think they just liked interacting with Akane. You guys hold on a second. I need to get some water. This is delicious, but I'm getting all tasted up. When it's us, we don't know how or even who to ask. It's like starting from scratch. I should go learn how to enjoy the fishing then why class. Why we lend you a hand? Oh yeah? Why not? We'll go across the island and back if we have to. Uh, that's quite sudden. Well, it's not like I want to volunteer out of nowhere. I just thought we could help people and 
maybe learn about Akane-san in the process. Huh. I mean, that could work. Tracing her daily routines might lead to something new. Then why not give it a shot? I don't see any other options right now. So long as we don't stir up any trouble while we're at it. Oh, we would never cure not. you. Never. We're gonna give it all we got and then some. <laughs> well, you're quite the energetic one. I suppose I should take you up on your offer. Callan, would you mind taking them over to the food bank? Ah, not at all. Okay, the rules are very simple. You go and collect food, then bring it back right here. Okay. But the most important rule of all, it can't be just anything you find on the shelves. It has to be made in Hawaii. Oh, that's so tough. Only Hawaiian grown food? That's foods? tough. Palekana stresses the importance of Aloha Aina, a love for the land and its people. Even when it comes to donations, the idea is local production for local consumption. That's tough. Well, we're so going to find a fucking Hawaiian make, cow. Make sure they're native to Hawaii, okay? You got it. Then let's get down to work. Hmm. How are we supposed to collect it? There's one food bank. They got a bunch of leftovers. No kidding. Think they'd be willing to donate? <laughs> My buddy's dad runs a fruit stand. He must have all sorts of tropical stuff. Might even have some of his unsold mm -hmm. shit. All right, let's go. Leave Local market. Let's go. You know, Hawaii uses soy sauce way more than I expected. I always figured soy sauce wasn't big overseas. Pleasant surprise. Might just be a Hawaiian thing. Japanese immigrants brought it over. Ah, uh, never knew that. Uh, but then it tastes different from Japanese soy sauce. Oh well, yeah. Consider that its taste varies between regions of Japan as well. Is it really? Kyushu soy sauce tastes sweet, for instance. Sweet soy sauce? I did not know that. Yeah, that was surprised too. It's used to make some stew sweeter. By now, I've developed a taste for it. I even get a craving for it sometimes. Huh, no kidding. That means we might get used to Hawaiian soy sauce and end up craving it too, huh? Huh. <laughs> Imagine that. That's crazy. Yeah, Americans do like salt. I do like a good salt. Paige loves salt like crazy. Oh my god. Paige will Paige drinks brine. She will drink brine. <laughs> what kind of brine? Pickle brine. Hello. What? You don't know what that is? It's pickle juice. Women be quenching. What's up? Hey, Mr. Yamada. Oh, Ricky. Ricky? It's a nickname. From the Rick and Eric. Oh, I don't know about that, Ricky. This guy has fucking ten names at this point. You know that? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I still say Tommy's better. Yeah? Hard to say. No comment. You guys all pals? What brings you here? Oh, actually, we're... Oh, fucking goons. Hey. Yamada has business. Oh, hi. Whoa. These are barracudas! Listen, we got a bit too sippy and my head's pounding. Yeah, what do you got for a quick fix? Grapefruit ought to take care of that. Huh, who'd have guessed? Not like, like you have much else. Oh, but what you do? I know something that you got will do us one better. Pardon? Money! Nothing that blowing some cash on a couple of hotties can't cure, am I right? I don't know about you guys. But like... When I'm hungover, the last fucking thing I want to do is fucking anything to do with my fucking dick and balls. I, I want to fucking put my head against a goddamn cold floor. How about you stuff the grapefruits and just empty out the register? Wait. Heard enough of this bullshit. How about you back off, huh? No shit, this place got talking fruits too, huh? <gasps> They're
They're giving us shit, Tommy. What do we do? We'll <laughs> kill them. Totally. It's part of our volunteer work. Oh, that's cute. I'll see you after Before I kill these guys, I'm gonna have a bite of the sucking chicken. I'm gonna put the hurt on you. Let's get it done. Well, I'm waiting. I won't hold back. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. I'm getting <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Imagine you call somebody a slur and he pulls out a fucking lug wrench. Yeah. I clearly called the wrong guy a name. organization has its stooges. It eats like you just start thinking the gang's muscles their own. Don't come near the store again. Got it, brother? Oh! Hey! Starting to pick up the local language, I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I get the message. Relax now, they won't be coming back. Really? Thank you so much. They've been threatening me for a while, taking my earnings every chance mm -hmm. they get. Oh, well, we won't bother you. We can try somewhere else. Is this for the food bank? If so, I'll help you out. You sure? Yeah, I got some good produce. Thanks, Thanks a ton, bro. Let's hit up some of the other stores. Oh, that's a Hawaii. Oh, man. Shall we have some steak tonight? That mom and her kid look so happy. I can't tell you how thankful we are you came along. Just look at what your hard work has done. <laughs> and that makes it all the more worth it. Hard to see so many in need of food, though. Hurts, doesn't it? <sighs> Hawaii's inflation gets worse every year. Yo! The rent being worst of all. An average family pays three thousand a month just to live in a tiny apartment. Three thousand dollars? That's three hundred thousand in yen? But back home, you could get a frickin' penthouse with that. A lot of people have multiple jobs just to stay afloat in this economy. Whew, take it from me. It is rough out there. I'm barely scraping by as it is. Yeah, but not everyone's as lazy as you, Tommy. Fuck off, rich girl. <laughs> Shut up. Man, I, I always had this image of Hawaii as perfect, but I guess reality hits hard, even in paradise. Right? And now, more than ever, we need to put Aloha Aina into practice. That's why I do what I do at Palekana. Feeding the hungry, helping the needy. Ah, if only I could do it like Akane did. Speaking of which, how do we do? Anyone find any leads? Nope. Not on my end. Same. I asked as many people as I could if they knew her. But all they could tell me was how nice she was. Things like that. Same here. Guess we all struck out this inning. Ah, sorry to hear it. Kalan-san, what other kind of work did Akane-san do? 
Well, she'd also pick up trash off the beach and then finish the night with a leisurely patrol around town. All in a day's work for her. Then can we help with that stuff too? As long as you're cool with it. Hey, I'm cool if you are. Today we'll be cleaning Aloha Beach before sunset. We could definitely use the extra help. So if you could join the rest of our group, we'd really appreciate it. I'll come by after closing up shop here. Perfect. Then see you at Aloha Beach before sunset. You're pretty excited about all this, huh, Ichiban? I mean, isn't it nice to help others in need? Oh my god. Plus, we can look for clues while we're at it. What's so weird about that? Hmm, nothing, I guess. I love him so much. Hey, man. Let's unwind. You haven't had a break since you came here, huh? Besides, if you're in Hawaii, you might do something Hawaiian for a change. Yeah, like what? You'd surf, take hula lessons. There's a lot to do. It'd be nice to enjoy things. Like Tomazawa said, we've been running around nonstop. True. Guess it wouldn't hurt Let's to relax, it. huh? There's a travel agency. Tourists go there all the time. And I'm sure there's a lot they can <laughs> recommend. I can't get there fucking fast enough. Ugh. No. Ugh. Run, Ichi! What? L2? Oh! Hell yeah! You get an XP penalty, but it's worth it? Oh yeah, easy. Big worth it. Hey, Chichon. A travel agency you were mentioning. It's around here, right? Yeah. At least, I'm pretty sure it was. Whoa! Whoa! Ow. Who'd I bump into? Oh, my bad. I wasn't looking. Uh, are you okay? Whoa! Whoa! What is this thing? Hello, happy. Jesus Christ. Hello, happy? Oh, are you by chance here to visit us? Huh? Welcome to Hello Happy Tours. Hello, happy tours? Fucking Christ. I met this guy. He, this guy was doing a fucking pretended to be a girl on mismatch. Sorry about earlier. Alohap here should have been more careful. Uh, sure. Oh, Alohappy's his name. Got it. That's right. He's our unmistakable mascot, known for being wildly unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So he's not popular. Anyway. This is a travel agency, isn't it? Yes! This is a Japanese travel agency built and run by Japanese people for Japanese tourists visiting from Japan. Here, all our Japanese-speaking staff slave away for chump change by preparing tours and activities unabashedly geared towards Japanese taste. This feels... My name is Elizabeth, and I'm the manager Very satirical. Here. Granted, Elizabeth is just a nickname. My real name is Ari Yamada. Elizabeth is based on Ari. Get it? Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> what over their deal is? Right, well, uh, we heard about this place. I thought you could help us get the full Hawaii experience. You mentioned you had some activities, right? Can you tell us more? Oh, you're interested in our activities. Well, Aloe Happy's got you covered. Whether it's shows, water sports, or just appreciating nature, we've got a volcano's worth of activities offering the very best of Hawaiian culture. And for a limited time, your first experience is totally 100% free. From dorky little kids to grouchy, impatient seniors, it's 
a chance for the whole gang to have fun at no cost. It's your lucky day, valued customer. Oh, okay. Well, free is good. Yeah, all right. Sign us up. Okay. Let's get Allo happy. Sign up for activities at the main office in Waikiki to unlock new jobs. Feel free to change to jobs you unlocked at any Allo Happy location. Hawaii, World, Worldwide Market, Village, Waikiki, Hawaii, Anaconda Shopping Center. And, if you're in Japan, the Yokohama Jinai Station. Allo Happy Tours offers a wide variety of activities that allow the party to experience the magic of Hawaii. And who knows, maybe someone will have a revelation about a new job. Bear in mind, however, some activities will require some money and depth of personality. Looks like there's currently a free promotional... Jeez. Uh, okay, what are you waiting for? Sign up. Whoever controls the ocean controls Hawaii. <clears throat> you know, I didn't even notice that my personality was growing. But it was. Water, here we come! Sir? I wonder. Here comes. <laughs> 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 yeah! Sir, no, it's yeah. something's happening here. Everything you dreamed of? Amazing. Uh, seriously, that was awesome. And it was like, uh, this revelation came to me. Like, I can take on the bad guys in a whole new way. Uh, take on the bad guys? You okay? Oh, yeah. It's hard to describe, but if you ever qualified for a new job at Hello Work, it's kind of like that. <laughs> hey, I think the Allo Happy Spirit might have gone to his head, huh? Yes. <laughs> so, it sounds like you were inspired. I heard that can that happen poor when you're happy fun, guy. especially when you're trying something new. And there's plenty more activities to enjoy, so don't miss out. Though we will have to charge you next time. That's not sure, a problem. I'll be back. Either this way. This is literally the most oh, important thing I could possibly do. Regulars chain to us as lifelong financial supporters. We have an Allo Happy Room for you to use, free of charge. Allo Happy Room? It's a private space made special for you. Use it anytime you want to change your outfit or just snag a little R&R. Cade, what's it unlock? <laughs> oh, it's pretty just handy. Just tell me now. So, when you're feeling up to it, give it a try. Huh, all right. Personality boosts. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock a couple more jobs and then um and then call it a night. Change jobs and inherit skills. Oh. Vacation vocations. You can change jobs in the Al Happy Room whenever you participate. Yeah, but is that sub story not in uh, how long is the sub story? You have to change them as well. In the Allo Happy Room, you can set inherited skills from any job, with the exception of Suji Mancer. You unlock the inheritance slots as you improve your personality. Final Rainbow Collar Swap will allow you to set a Kiwami skill, which means extreme. What character's job rank? Uh, the more jobs, the stronger they get. Today's fit. Freelancer is so fucking pathetic. Maybe it's time I change styles. Oh my god, his hair color changes. I need a makeover. Always so hard to choose. Oh, she can't be in Aquamancer because she's a lady. So, how was it? Allo happy, are we? Man, this really is handy. Consider me sold. Allo Happy Rooms are all over Hawaii. We have offices in the Anaconda Center and even in Japan, ready for use at any time. Well then, 
See you on your next adventure. Thanks, bitch. Anyway, time to head to the beach. But first, apparently, you guys want me to unlock a sub story, which is. Hey. Oh. Huh? Oh, it's Allo Happy. What's hey, up? Take one. Okay. Allo Happy presents Tropical Photo Rally? What's this? <clears throat> Oh, I don't even have to. No, I, I have to do this sub story. It's an event we're hosting, like a game. You get hints that'll lead you around to take pictures. Want to try it out? Holy crap. You, you actually have this a, is a different sub story? Voice. Holy shit. Duh. I only keep up that act in front of Liz. Keep my head down, sound cute, or else I get the punishment. She's scarier the than punishment? she looks, man. Uh, and by Liz, I meant Elizabeth. Oh, I'd really kill for a cig. Got a light? No. Uh, and wait a sec. How are you gonna smoke with that on your head? Oh, right. There is that. <laughs> <sighs> well, all that aside, what do you think? Are you down? For the photo rally, I mean. Well, it seems nice, but we're pretty busy. We didn't exactly come to Hawaii for sightseeing, to be honest. Throw me a bone, man. Hey, you even get prizes if you take enough pics. And participation is free. Not a bad deal, you know what I mean? Not to mention the prizes are top notch. You can score a t-shirt with me on it, a mini me keychain, even a towel embossed with yours truly. <clears throat> Sounds like you're just pawning off your extra inventory. <laughs> what a zinger! You're busting my balls here. <laughs> Please, now I'm actually begging you. What are the odds we no see his face? Up. Zero. Also, fucking skin me alive. Don't even get me started on my paycheck, understand? I'm desperate. Okay, fine. Who doesn't like free stuff anyway, right? Might as well try. It does sound fun. Oh, God, thanks. I owe you one. I am one allo happy guy. Jesus oh, wait, so Christ. How does this work? Ah, uh, yes. Allow me to go over it with you. <clears throat> this will be a simple test run. Can you replicate this photo by taking a picture of the same spot? Okay. You want me to look for the place in the photo and take my own picture? Gotcha. This is it. I came out well. I fucking did it. Wait, where's the supposed sub story that's right next to me? Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. There are 110 pictures. I'm not too worried about it. As long as they show up on the fucking map. Nailed it. Oh, excellent. You got it. Just keep doing that, and you're A-OK. -okay. <sighs> when you open the app, you can choose from a bunch of different subjects like you did just now. Just reference the pictures, find the correct location, and snap a pic. Once you've taken a certain number of pictures, come find me. <clears throat> I'll slip you some top-shelf loot. Cool. Got it. I'll keep that in mind as I explore Hawaii. Please do. And with that, have an alo happy time. This guy's gonna eat a fucking gun in the outfit. Okay, sun's starting to set. Don't okay. we have somewhere to go? Let's go to the beach. Alright, so where's the sub story that unlocks personality boosts? west of this mall so the here the vocational school this week's theme is suicide it always is remember everyone hula dancing yeah hot fire dance 
Duty free shopping tour. Parasailing. No, I get it. Don't kill yourself. Just go shopping. Hello? Oh my fucking god. Calm down, Kaysom. Shut the fuck up. Hey, Peachy darling, I am going as fast as I can to unlock this crap so that I'm ready for next week. I will be home very shortly. Is that the same fucking guy? Whoa! Fire dancing in person! Never thought I'd see anything Is that the like same this. fucking guy? Ooh. Wait, he looks familiar. Thank you, thank you. The Onabara Vocational School is open for any who stop. Yeah, by. that's the same guy. Did I hear Onabara? Look at that. Is this place related to the Onabara Vocational School in Yokohama? If that's the case, the bow, bow, guy bow, must bow, be... bow, bow, bow. Oh my goodness! Kasugakun, is that you? Sure is, but eh. Kari. Wow, what are the odds? Kasuga-kun, all the way out here, same as me? It's been so long. Yeah. Okay, so he did take the English vocational classes. So, Kasuga-kun, what brings you to the Aloha State? <laughs> no offense, but I always took you for the kind of guy to just make do in some dump like Ijincho his whole life. Still got the same way with words. I'm here on some personal business, is all. Uh, how about you? What are you doing over here? It's my job, obviously. A job? So you finally found something? <laughs> what can I say? The world may have been slow on the uptake, but eventually my value couldn't be ignored. Well, where'd you end up? What do you mean? Right here! Here? Own a borrow vocational? Of course! No other company has their acumen when it comes to recognizing certifiable skills. They alone saw that letting such a talented professional fall through the cracks would be a crime against society. How nice of them, I guess. Now, I'm officially the bearer of over 200 certificates Jesus of knowledge Jesus Christ, and dude. Get Nobody a job. Out there is so qualified. Well, when you put it that way, you've got a point. So, how'd they end up sending you here? Yeah, Professional well, students are cringe. Branch first, but things didn't happen. What kind of things? Uh, man and woman things. <gasps> man and oh, I, I almost forgot. You were crazy about that receptionist girl, right? Please don't tell me she rejected you when things got so awkward you had to transfer. No, I, I mean, how did you? How could you have known that? You haven't got a psychic cert, have you? No, and I wouldn't need one to guess you put your foot in your mouth. Yeah, well, congratulations. Oh, that, that is Johnny Young Bosch. Eloquently and logically, and still for some reason, she said no. After that, I had kind of a hard time seeing her. I figured it'd be best for both of us if I volunteered to work abroad instead. Uh-huh. Love doesn't follow any rules, it turns out. You can't study for it, can't redo a failing grade. If only, right? If only you could take an exam to guarantee the one you love loves you back. I'd cram all night for it. Jesus Christ, yeah, dude. I hear you. Some fucking uh, anti-riz. Hey, you don't mind me changing the subject. What's with the fire dancing? A <laughs> critical part of the job. Advertising and publicity. Believe it or not, I'm a fully certified fire dancer in the state of Hawaii thanks to Ona Bar. How's that for a model employee? All my skills go right back into the company. Huh. Guess that does make for a pretty valuable employee. 
And right now, there's a free enrollment promotion. We want to expand our student base. Hey, Kasuga-kun! That's it! You should enroll! I should. Again? <clears throat> yeah! I bet you haven't done a single thing with your old certifications, and they've all faded away from that big old head of yours! Damn it, he's right. That's really not a great sales pitch, but you're not wrong either. <laughs> that settles it then! It's time for you to start all over! Hey, unlike any Jincho, we've got lots of exams specifically related to Hawaii. They're sure to help you out in your travels. So, doesn't that interest you? Uh, I guess. Great, let's hurry up. No time like the present. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This place sure is nice for a school. Fancy interiors. <laughs> Isn't it? It's an optimal environment for young go-getters like me. Welcome. This is the Oonabara Vocational School. Are you here to enroll? Hmm? <laughs> nice to meet you. <sighs> Laura John. Dude, holy shit, stop that. No. You don't have a thing for her, too, do you? <sighs> Love has no rules, I told you. Ugh. Can't shut off your heart. Yeah, but obviously you're just gonna get hurt again and in trouble, right? Ugh. Don't be ridiculous. I'm Ikari, darn it. I never fell at anything. More than once. Didn't you go on over a hundred job interviews back home? <laughs> My name is Laura Maeda. Come right this way. Okay. Oh, yes, thank you, ma'am. Now go. Sign up already. Don't make Laura Chan wait. Would you shut up? With our current promotional campaign, your enrollment fee is waived. May I please enter your name? This lady's sure. voice sounds really Ichiban familiar. Kasuga. Thank you. Uh, Laura Chan, it was me. I recruited him for you. Uh, for, for us. Uh, for forever. <laughs> Thank you very much, Akari san Jesus Christ. Well, uh, anything for you. Oh, you really know how to play it cool. Akari san has probably already explained everything, but we offer certification exams here. While those certificates are important in finding a career, our philosophy is that self improvement and character are just as rewarding. Kasuga san. I'll be glad to support you in any endeavor to expand your interests and develop your personality. Yeah! Great! Thanks a lot, Laura John. Hey, only I call her that! Don't you pull this crap again, Lunkhead! Uh, <laughs> we're also holding a trial campaign. Not only is your enrollment free, your first examination is as well. You're welcome to have at it right away. I find it's often the best method to fully understand our system. Wow, so I could get a certification for free? I guess I'll give it a shot. You guess you'll give it a shot? Luchan's filling you in on an amazing one-time offer here. Do it! What are you waiting for? Jesus Christ. Please go take a break outside. Well, just let me know when you're ready. I'll lead you to the exam room. Come this far, might as well see about my free exam. All right, so uh, do I have to do the fucking quest? Oh. All set up for your trial. Fine, I'm sure. good. Have you? You'd like to take? Very good. You better not embarrass me. Fine, we'll take one. Ukulele. What's his name mean? Oh. Uh, which the following volcano is named Leahi? I don't know. What's the Hawaiian gesture? Uh, Shaka. Which is the following true? It was man made. White flower shown is seen in Hawaii. What's its name? Uh, hibiscus. I don't know. I fucking failed this shit. Oh, eat shit. 
Eat shit, you're all losers. It was Jumping Flea. The Diamond Head. It is Shaka. It is Man Made. And it was the Plumeria. <sighs> Alright, that's a passing grade, baby! Huh? I can't believe it! Kasuka kun, I was all set to tell you to just give up on that entire curriculum. You know, as a friend. It's amazing how quickly you succeeded. I can't wait to see how you do on other exams. Just beware. Things will make sure you all yeah, okay. certification aside. That's right. Laura Chad, anyway, you heard what she said. You need yeah, to stop it. I understand. No, 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 no. Do not trouble oh, yourself I'm gonna on his kill account. Myself. My... I will take care of Kasuka kun personally. Whatever you see. Either way. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that dude. That's the only guy that got me to fucking skip goddamn fucking voice acting so far. Alright, back to the vocational school. Let's unlock at least every job. Welcome! Oh, tons of stuff to choose from. Sign up for this shit. Holy fuck. Fuck. Duty free shopping. Enjoy yourself. I love duty free shopping, dude. Hey, this place is popping. Sure is pretty here. I don't know where to start. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> what's wrong? I spilled it. Made a big mess. Leave it to me. It's unlocking mean and mean. my female urge to clean. Yay. Welcome. What sparks your interest? Hula. Yeah, Kiryu's into it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Definitely the real thing. That dance and those hips. Of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's rad. Welcome. What sparks your interest? And then, oh, it looks like a, oh wait. Oh, oh sorry. That's not an option. Let's all owl happy. Cool. So, 
Uh, okay, Geodancer and Pyrodancer. Aquanaut. Is there an air one? Welcome! Oh, tons of stuff to choose from! Parasite. There it is. There it is. Oh, fucking bur- Oh, no! Hey, you know, those moves weren't half bad. What? It's like, yeah, a Hong Kong action movie. Yeah. Oh, weird. Aloha. Hope yeah. you find them enjoyable. Uh, good to hear. Okay. Zai, so pure and radiant with light, child at heart. Wouldn't you agree, Aloha? Happy? Yeah. Sure. Tee hee hee hee. What the fuck? choose from looks like I whoa Welcome. there was no, one last one go wrong with any of these wait what oh I thought is this all the jobs welcome uh oh Okay. You know, I'm going to save a, a brand new file. Okay, I did it. I did everything I needed to do. Oh, thanks everybody for coming out today. We made the progress we needed to make. Make sure you unlock all the Hawaii jobs for Chapter 8. Well, that's fairly obvious. I want to thank Buttons the Doll for rating the channel. Thank you. As well as Megboy Manuel and Games Gone Buggy. Thank you. Monster Envy gifted a sub. Thanks. Silish sub. Haha, <laughs> Power World went too far, you say. No, Nintendo just doesn't want to piss off the Yakuza. Eh, maybe. Catch them all. Sub, so did Jins3898. Thank you. Biggest the Dickus the fourth. Kicked in five or the bits. How funny would it be if it make if Ido makes Pyramid Head trans in the remake to really trigger the toxic parts of the fan base? Pyramid Head is just Pyramid Head is by technicality, not binary. Pregnant Adam Sandler kicked in five or the bits. Thanks, pregnant. Hey, Pat, sorry about this, but it completely slipped my mind until Power World. One of the games I suggested for Beat the Backlog Disfigure made use of AI-generated icons for upgrade uh, images for upgrade icons. They are in the process of removing it and replacing it with human-made art assets. Hey, I'm sorry, completely slipped my mind when I suggested it. Ah, don't worry about it. Cask sub, so Polys Maximus and Drake Devar. All right, thanks, guys. I'm out of here. I'm going to go kiss wife and baby and dog and cat. Bye-bye.